Hello, everybody. My name is Uchara, and this is Bear and Breakfast. This is a management life sim type game, you know, like a, a management tycoon type game combined with the Sardew Valley type game, um, where you, you run a bed and breakfast, but you're a bear. <laughs> An anthropomorphized bear, but still a bear, right? So that's a little... It's different. Um, I'm obviously going in with fresh eyes here. I have not played it at all. I know the premise, and that's about it. Why can't I ever fall asleep on time? I don't know. Do you go to bed on time? Base to advance. I'm going to be so tired tomorrow. Indeed. Mom's going to kill me. Mm hmm. It's true. Ooh, what is that? That is creepy. I think Sand's getting very cold all of a sudden. Forehead felt heavy with a crushing pressure. Dark figure with glowing eyes stared from far away. Weathered stones and dry wood surrounded it. Suddenly, a blinding jolt of lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cracked. Shriek pierced through the air. Dun dun. There was no one there. Everything fell dark and silent again, except for the rain. Forget I said anything. Sleep is overrated. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Hello? Hi. I can't move. Why not? Do not. Don't what? See? Because it's already happening. What is happening? This is not the story I was expecting. <laughs> Can't do that either. WASD to move around. Okay, there we go. Well, that's convenient. Very kind of like void am I in here? Find, find my bed. You mean like an introspection thing? Right, I found my bed to sleep. Okay, so I need to go to sleep. Yeah, sure. I'll just take a nap in the deathbed. Why not? What could possibly go wrong, right? Key to interact. Alright, we go to sleep. Don't. You're not great at making your mind up. <laughs> it's true. Wake. Don't wake or do... Whoa. What is that? This is... <laughs> That's it. No more dumplings before bed. No. Are they psychedelic dumplings? Holy crap. For the third time. Hank. Uh-oh. Better see what's up. What's up is you. You need to get up. Can I interact with anything in my room? No. Okay, I love how it's like a, a room with like wood floors and wood walls, but it's in a cave. <laughs> I mean, I am a bear, so it makes sense. It's like I can't go through here. Can't go through here. So through here it is. <laughs> There's my mom. I'm up. I'm up. Finally. Why aren't you a bag of bones? We are all bags of bones at the end of the day. Good to see hibernation hasn't kicked in yet. You can't call it that every time I get a little extra sleep. Besides, besides what? I had a hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. I feel that, Hank. I feel that. Well, that runs in the family. Have you tried thinking less? <laughs> Gee, thanks, Mom. Great advice, Mom. No, I'm... Where's Annie? Oh, in a room with Will, probably. I should go wake him up. All right, honey. Um, fall in adventure mode. Let's just move myself down in the corner for now. Fall in adventure mode, you can control Hank using WSD and walk around the world. Yeah, that's... We're, no, we, we're aware of that. Oh, what's this? I don't know any cooking recipes. Why not? I should, I should know lots of cooking recipes. It's like I can't go to bed in that bed. All right, so I'm assuming they're in here. 
okay, it is not bears. It is other species. <laughs> Good morning, question mark. Get out, Will says. Morning, out. They're cranky. They didn't sleep good either. That's not very good morning of you. There's nothing good about being up this early. Hmm, I don't smell any reasons to be up yet. Yeah. Mom needs to cook some bacon or something. What do you mean? I can smell them a mile away. Oh, Will, you burn. Delightful, both of you. What's on the dock today, boss? Digging a new hole next to the other holes? <laughs> Actually, Mom said she might let us cross the creek today and check under the bushes for mushrooms. Ooh, exciting. What did I tell you? Not sure how that leads to us running a bed and breakfast. But we'll find out. What did I tell you? I live for the hunt. She, Annie is a huntress, clearly. How come we never get to do fun stuff anymore? We're doing something fun today. Like a good old visit to the dumpster. I don't know how fun that is, Will. We're not allowed past the fence anymore. Besides, there hasn't been any new garbage in months. Well, we won't find any garbage or shroomies in here. Let's go already. You're on his side now? Morning, we're up. Let's go do stuff. I'm with Annie. Will? Will's a Debbie Downer. You warned me, betrayal never comes from your enemies. Well, yeah, they, they're already your enemy. They can't betray you. All right, what's over here? Hank, kids, over here. Get your digging claws ready. Here it comes. Coming. Adventure mode. Adventure mode, you can walk around, interact with things, and pick up items in your inventory. Like what? Not much to pick up. Oh, there's, is this the fence that we're not allowed past? I assume. All right, well, let's just go talk to mom here and see what she has to say. Mother. Who was this? Can't read what it says. Well, I mean, bears can't read. Hey, Ma. Morning, kids. Morning, Miss M. Ma'am? Did you sleep already? As good as ever. Good enough. Whatever that means. Good. Today's a very special day. I need you to go on the hunt. All right, point me to the hole. Why Why is Will obsessed with digging holes? To Black Moss. Where is Black Moss? What? What? Huh? No, I said no going past the fence. We've all been so good, and I need your help. Ooh, we're going past the fence, folks. Ah. Uh, bush around the tombstone is getting a little thick, and the flowers aren't in bloom anymore. I'll need you to find me a bundle of alligator weed. That's the good stuff, alligator weed. <laughs> I can't believe we get to leave this stinking place. Hmm. I mean, uh, adventure. Nice recovery, Will. Adventure! Anyway, Hank, you're in charge of this operation. Here, this is what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook so you don't forget. Hey, our turn. How are you doing today? Nope. Times one. It's collectible. Find it in your collectibles inventory. Don't lose it again. Again, I lost it once, I guess. I won't. Better not. He will. <laughs> will has a lot of faith in me. He will, and he has a lot of faith in me. All right, you three. And remember, you're getting that bundle and straight back. I have a feeling that's not going to be the case. Not one step further than the swamp. Yes, Ma. All right, it's collectibles. Collectibles are special items you can lock. Your character that gives you various perks. You can find your current unlocked collectibles in the character screen. You now access the quest log from the main bar. Those are your current quests, allows you to track them and find objectives using the arrows indicator. Quests which will lead you uh, towards finishing the main story of the game will be flagged with these arrows. It's up arrows. Quest status icons will display your character over characters. Orange means available. Blue means in progress. Green means ready. Okay. Go to Black Moss through the thicket, which is down and to the right. Quests, character, inventory. Not much in our inventory. Not much going on in our character sheet. And obviously not much in our quests. Alright, let's go through the fence. 
Was this something we can pick up? Oh, it's Will. <laughs> Strike me as a real leave the gun, take the cannoli kind of guy. I don't know what that means. Are they coming? Mm, whatever. Pretty sure they're supposed to come with me, but... Where's the fence? Here's the gap in the fence? No. Oh, right here. The gap wasn't there earlier. Mom must have somehow psychokinetically opened the gap for us to get through. Three friends found themselves further than they'd ever gone before. Past the soothing meadows and the quiet streams of the thicket. Margaret wouldn't know. This was not exactly their first adventure. Annie, the Corellian dog. She looks more like a cat. Brave, but clumsy. Will, the poor Will. Grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly, grumpy on the inside. Hey, I, I, I called it. I nailed it. Even more so on the inside. And Hank, the brown bear. Cheerful and curious, but maybe a little concerned about the promise he made back home. No, Mom, I'm definitely not going to wander too far in an adventurous fashion. Yeah, we're breaking that promise for sure. I promise. All right, Black Moss. All right, gang. Spread out. I don't know. I think we should stay together. It's awfully dark here. There we go. Find some alligator weed. I hope I sniff out something good today. I hope so, too. Oh, oh. Yeah. Tire screech. What's that mean? What in the what? I agree, Annie. What in the what indeed? I heard it too. You better go. We haven't found a thing for your mom yet. I'm with Hank. Let's see where that sound came from. Thanks, Will. It's no, it's not what I meant. We're going back. You know what? I bet it's a brand new garbage truck. I don't care. Mom said straight back. Let's go. She also said to get some gator weed. We haven't found any yet. Maybe there's something in the truck. No, come back. I'm trying to be a good boy, but my friends are, are not. What do we have here? It's one big rock. All right. What's going on up here? The timber crossing. Ooh, some buses. What are they doing way over there? This is definitely not where we're supposed to. Well, I mean, sure, it's where we're supposed to go in the game, but Mom's not happy about it. Luxurious outhouse. Well, well, so what's this mean? We're supposed to fix it up with these materials, I s assume? Yeah, we don't have any of them right now, so it doesn't really matter. Ooh, looks like some planks on the ground over here. Five plywood planks. Need pine wood planks to fix this. It's not the type of plank we just found, right? Plywood, yeah, we need plywood and pine wood. They were <laughs> you really couldn't have named those a little something a little more different. So that's not confusing at all. Alright, what's going on here? Will stayed up all night watching movies again. Something about a dog named Marley. Don't know. I fell asleep halfway through. It's really not... <laughs> Alright. Ben, nothing to lose. Nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat. Show it who's boss. Strange Shark had a shiny, bouncy exterior and wore cool sunglasses. I heard the sunglasses. Is this its mouth or its face? Oh, there's the sunglasses right there. He's got his head filled all the way back. The little gray speaker box was strapped to his neck, blurting out nonsense. It reminded Hank of Will's TV. Pond Voyage. Next to it, a little car had a big advert for something called Pond Voyage. I don't know if I call that a little car. Nothing weird about it at all. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Okay, yeah. Hello. Part of the next exciting experience, enticing escape, electrifying enterprise. That's a lot of ease. Is someone in there? 
You there. Fine. Gentleman in the uh, orange coat. I am pretty gentle. How would you like to own the next minor share in the next major maneuver? I'm in. Well, I'm not into anything major, but I do like sharing. And, I must reiterate, the share is very minor. What do we get to share again? Very, very minor. <laughs> How exactly are you talking? Bon Voyage is a multinational, multi-layered, multi-your-friend corporation. Hmm, corporations aren't your friend. What the? I love all the little formulas sprouting out. Offering secured, touristy, adjacent goods. Okay. Stags. Services in exchange for valuable personal collateral. It's a lot of buzzwords. You lost me. Yeah. Don't think you ever had me to begin with. I'm with Will. Just bring in your old, useless, priceless family jewelry. Useless and priceless. Or expensive heirloom of choice. And we'll give you a one to three day all exclusive voucher for the vacation of a lifetime. Ooh. Sign me up. Sorry, buddy. I don't have anything expensive or a hair wound. Ha, <laughs> hair wound. Bon Voyage is also on the lookout for brand new ventures and locations. Why does he keep saying it like that? For it's millions of customers all around the valley. Millions. Just millions. We will take any location or premises, no matter how run down or decrepit, offer our very human patrons the holidays they deserve. Wait, for humans? To live? Here? I don't think anyone wants to live here. They're just tourists. I've seen this before. The humans wander around where Shark Boy tells them. Then they stare at the trees. They try to forget whatever they're running from. Read it in a magazine. Humans are whack. And you're not wrong, Will. If you or a friend of a friend would like to offer your house or a house, home or house, to become a Pond Pon Voyage premium premises. By restoring, repairing, redecorating, and bringing it up to a minimum standard, which frankly no one enforces, and drastically, barely, alter your monthly income, simply press the green button under my gullet and a representative will get in touch. This is not how I thought we would acquire a, a bed and breakfast. I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what he just said. I heard that shark right. I'm pretty sure it wants to give us money. Human grade, primo quality, shiny money. Human grade money. I mean, that's the best grade of money. All I heard was that humans are coming back. Well, the money has to get here somehow. Humans. I've barely seen one in months. Well, stop eating them, Hank. And that's more than enough. Hello? Don't you see what this means? With your oddly alarming strength, my foolproof understanding of all things, spoil sports cheerful attitude, I am cheerful. I just don't care for him, that's all. You stand to make a boatload of cash. I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what you just said. I don't trust the Pond Voyage. <laughs> I mean, I don't think you're supposed to trust them. Human, back, money, give good. I'm going to be honest. It's anything other than good. Look, just go tell the shark we're in. We just use any broken down shed. They're all abandoned anyway. So we're going to start with this broken down shed. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab our opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Press the green button. Hello again. Congratulations, you've been automatically entered into a standard legally binding agreement. By using your fingerprint identification data from the local police department. Welcome to the family, error unknown pattern. <laughs> Name suits you. That's me, error unknown pattern. You're now contractually obligated to provide your premium property details within the next three business days. Simply press, press the green button under my gullet when the premises are ready to accept their first guest. Oh, we're, we're ways from that, I think. All right, who knows anything about human houses? Ooh, I do. I live in one. Well, I used to look at the pictures of the houses in the magazines we found. Could the humans maybe just live under a bus? Mm, I don't think so, Annie. No, I don't think that cuts it. They're fragile and get scared easily. Who you call them fragile, little bird? Sounds familiar. I think I know a thing or two about making a place cozy. They do not get scared that easily. Well, you are a bear. Yeah, but I think we need help too. We should go find Tony. Tony the tiger? I really don't think we should bother him. He won't mind. Besides, I think he'll enjoy the company. I don't even know where he is these days. I doubt he ever left sawdust. 
We'll see if he can sniff him out. Tell him we need his master woodwork skills. We do. We do need a woodworker. That'll get him going. Reason all the jokes about Mondays are so terrible. It's because people only think them up on a Monday. I mean, it's not wrong. All right. Within the adventure mode menu, you have two additional options. If you're not a fan of the dark, after midnight you can sleep until the following morning. This also advances time. If you like to see inside of most buildings, you can lower the roof and walls. You sleep at night. I think this is the roof and walls thing. We can take some plywood planks. No, no that's what we have. Plywood planks, plywood planks, just take all. Take all with some nails, with some nails there. We got cotton sheets, nails, planks, all kinds of materials. More planks, even more planks. Collecting some valuables, whatever valuables are exactly. All right, so now we can fix this table, but what are valuables? Cooking items, furniture items, crafting, fuel, quest items. I don't know what valuables actually are. Maybe it's just like a, a currency of some sort. Anyway, I gotta find Tony. All that's missing is a picnic basket. Well, we will have to find the picnic basket at some point then. Won't we? Oh, Tony the beaver. That's boring. I was hoping he'd be a tiger. Some planks. I don't know. I don't know how many planks we're going to need, but I'm going to just assume it's going to be a lot. Where are you, Tony? Oh, some more planks. Oh, this is looking like a junk pile we could pick up. Oh, yeah. Iron plates, copper plates. Don't like to come in handy. There's Tony. By God, a bear. It's just me, sir. Hank, from the thicket. Oh, goodness, you can talk? Well, you can talk, Tony. <laughs> I'm just yanking your tail, boy. How's your mother? Great. Listen, I want to ask if you could help us. We've got a uh, help. Why didn't you say so? What do you need? A stark of birch? Stack of birch. Why did it say stark? Well, actually... My friends and I were wondering. An oak spoon? Oh, I think Margaret would love that. Has anyone thought you had a saw yet? No. No, there's a shark at Timber Crossing. Oh, oh, a redwood plaque for your fish? <laughs> he says he's bringing humans to the valley. Oh. Well. We haven't seen those in a while, have we? What could I possibly have to do with that? What would she know about building things? For humans, I mean. Well, as you of course know, everything people make is perfect. Is it, though? When I took over the mill here, I found all these papers and schematics. It felt like stumbling upon artifacts. Never thought wood could take so many shapes. Look here. Elaborate contours, knotty frames, perfect angles. Clearly only an incredible being could come up with all of this. Whoa. Can you make all that? Oh, anyone can. It's quite simple once you figure out how to read these things. Would you... Would you like me to teach you? Yes, please. Yes, well, I was hoping you could help us fix up this old shack of Timber Crossing. Oh. Wonderful. We'll need my back saw and mallet. A ladder. Oh, and a couple stacks of pine. I'm on the pine. That's those for me, will you? Bright yellow ones. We're all yellow. <laughs> um, alright. Shiny over here. Got here loggers tools. Okay. Materials. You can interact with materials in the world to loot their contents. Press E again when in the container. Take everything side quickly. Ooh, that's a good tip. You can also split stacks for multiple items. Scavenging is one of the main ways for you to obtain materials. Certain materials will respawn periodically in expected locations. Nice. Wood will be found near trees, stone and marble near rocks, junk around the garbage dump, and so on. Makes sense. Store any extra materials in the stash near the pond voyage car in each area. Well, there's more than one area. Alright, so did you find all the wood? Um, maybe? 
Yep, got it right here, I, I hope. Grand, perfect. You're doing such a great job. Hey, Julian. Um, I mean, I just started playing myself. It's just, I'm in full story mode right now. Um, we're trying to fix up uh, buildings to attract humans to the area as tourists seems to be the story so far even though we told our mother we were not going <laughs> to leave we, we lied to our mother this morning uh, thanks I just picked it off the ground amazing now I'm headed to Timber Crossing I'll see you there alright I will see you in Timber oh there's more wood let's go grab that Oh, there's a bunch of stuff over here. All kinds of wood. Mahogany wood. That's different. That's new. Let me take... Oh, yeah, we can get some nails and some cotton out of that old couch. Beautiful. All right, so let's go... Let's. We came down this way. I wonder if we can scavenge this old dryer thing. Oh, there's something there we can do. We can. Oh, there's a lot. Ooh, electronics. I'm glad I did that. What's going on here? Hmm, why not simply punch the trees? I don't know. Alright, some more wood tucked in here. And there's a lot of wood just laying around. Apparently you need a lot of wood in this game. I just picked up a ton of wood. Wonder where a tree this big could fit. Go right through it. More mahogany. Beautiful. I did not expect there to be this much wood. All right, let's go. Let's go back to Timber Crossing and start fixing up this uh, little hut. Start making our first. Uh, First bed and breakfast, or bear and breakfast, I guess. I was kind of hoping you could pick up these mushrooms. Wait, I am. Is there a map? Oh, the road's down there. Is this bridge function? That's the biggest crack I've ever seen. Yeah, I. That's that's far more wood than I expected. Generous is a good word for it. I'm kind of glad I went up there. I didn't... <laughs> that's not what I was expecting. When I came, I came, like, to the south of the road. There was very little wood down there compared to north of the road. All right, we are back in Timber Crossing. There's Tony. What? Yes, all of that is wonderful. We're going to use this old shed. I haven't seen any human claiming in years. Oh yes, this will do nicely. Look who decided to finally show up. I'm here. I, I don't know at this point, Julian. I assume at least some of those will be in the game. The farming and mining, I would think. I don't know about combat. I mean, there could be. I was telling your friend here, the wood you brought ought to be enough. Well, I have a lot of wood. I'll get started on this. First, I have to clean up the shed of all the garbage. I think I already did that. I think I can do that. I think I already did it. I did. Did you clean up the shed? I did. Yep. Yep. Great. Now I'll have to use this old workbench. What? Well, you can't hammer a nail in thin air. You need some place to make it work. Table next to the tree, Hank. <laughs> Thanks, Will. Grab some wood and put it back together while I tidy up the place. I think I already did that too, didn't I? No, I didn't. Confirm. Nice, yeah. Okay, we got a workbench. Can now be used to build rooms and craft furniture. Nice. No building available in the area. Okay, so we gotta do this, obviously. Um, repairable objects. Repair various, various objects in the world by gathering their required materials. Workbenches will allow you to build and craft in that area. Uh, monuments will improve the status of the area, attract more guests, okay, like this, like this um, outhouse. Joy, joy, joy says this game is so cute. Yes, it has a very uh, cute uh, aesthetic for sure. Repairable objects, passages will be cleared, and bridges will be repaired to allow access. Okay, nice. Oh, 
Tony, did you get that workbench fixed? I did. Like brand spanking new. It's good. No. Oh, uh, thanks. Excuse me. I mean, if he's the builder, why didn't he repair the workbench? Just saying. And what do we got over there? Excuse me. You have plenty of time to get better. And I will. Now, humans got over the cold stone floors in Ichihei a while ago. They would much rather sleep on a clean, soft, springy surface. I mean, who wouldn't? Here, this is none of those things, but it'll do. Pawn Voyage has new items available. Visit the shop, find new items available for purchase. You unlock the new crafting recipe. Shallot pallet bed recipe. Crafted at the workbench. Awesome. Go make one at the workbench. Okay. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, collected six valuables. I don't know what valuables are. Crafting items. Once repaired, the workbench is used to craft and place objects as well as build rooms. Craft functional furniture. Use the workbench and enter the crafting menu, which is right here. Functional objects are specific to room types and are crafted from materials. Beds give comfort and belong in bedrooms. Totally give hygiene and belong in bathrooms, etc. Makes sense. Once you're done, exit build mode by using the exit button. Learn new blueprints, blueprints from quests or by buying them and interacting with them to learn recipes. Buy more blueprints at the Pond Voyage shop as they become available. Okay. Crafting. Shabby pallet bed. Nope. Just like that. Done. Okay. So that's, I think that's all we need to do, right? For now. Were you able to make that bed? I was. Yep, got it right here. Hello, Mindy, from Prince Edward Island, Canada. <laughs> Very far from Singapore. Yep, got it right here. I didn't think it could look worse than the schematics. Oh, don't doubt my shoddy crafting skills, Tony. But here we are. <laughs> oh, I mean, excellent. You're doing so well. Thanks, Tony. Better than mine back home. That's just sad. Hurry along and put it to good use. Make a bedroom and put the bed in it. This game looks so complicated. Eh, it's not too bad. Well, we'll see. I mean, I'm early on. Use the workbench. I, I do like the tutorial. It's been pretty good so far. Build and edit rooms within the cabins of your resorts. Access build mode and pick a room type from the list. Some resorts only support a limited number of room types. Draw the footprint of the room until you reach the minimum required size, at least. You can add or remove tiles using the plus and minus buttons. Every room requires a door to function, but a room can have multiple doors. Add more with the add doors button. Okay. Um, rooms will also require mandatory objects in order to function. The message is held for review. Don't build the toilet. If not, the rhetorical does a bear <laughs> shit in the woods. It won't make sense. I think 10 minutes have passed and you lost a day. How long do you plan on playing today? I just got to work and need something to watch. Uh, another two and a half hours or so. Um, wow. That's a mouthful. Grab furniture from your inventory and place it in your cabins. You can rotate furniture using R. Burn buildings uh, with the check mark. Make sure it's not overlapping. Edit or delete rooms in build mode. Okay. All right, so build a room, a comfort room, bedroom. So minimum size two by three. So that's two by three. Let's go three by three. And this is the door. The door takes up almost the whole room. Um, and then we're gonna put a bed in here. Cost me 90. Uh, I have 250 coins. Okay, so valuables are just a currency. So create room. Is that all we have to do? I think. Uh, so we exit this. Thanks for the game and chat, man. It's late where I'm at and I gotta hit the hay. Take care. No problem, Julian. Have a good sleep. Well, I hope you are more successful falling asleep than the, this bear character was at the start when he struggled to fall asleep. So were you able to make that bedroom? I think I was, Tony. Yes, sir. Stains and all. I don't think it's supposed to include stains. Brilliant. 
I almost prefer it to the dead tree I used to sleep in. Almost. This close. You encourage weird. <laughs> All right, now. This is the most important step. Okay? Humans always need to feed their false sense of superiority. By having someone around that they can look down on. <laughs> Easy, Will. You sure seem to know a lot about that. So we're going to need to make them feel welcome. By putting down a little table at the front of the house that tells them where to go. A little black book to keep the records for the shark. Ah oh, yes, here's how you make it. Quite straightforward, really. Okay, stock update. We learned the front desk recipe. Beautiful. After you've made it, just put it down in the shed, and it's time to rake in the dough. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure this is going to just make a ton of money for me. <laughs> um, desk. Build. Okay, so we don't need... How do we... Why place furniture? Like this. Front desk for like right here, I guess. Works for me. Did you place the front desk? I did. That looks that looks good, hey. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a natural, Hank. I'm learning. Such a fast learner. It's not that great. It took me forever and there's barely anything in there. Are they even going to like it? You sure know how to take a compliment. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. Thank you? Thank you. Sorry. Go talk to Sharky Boy. Tell him we got this joint ready. Well, ready. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to him, though. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab up, grab opportunity by the throat, and no, show his butts. That's what you say every time. Press the green button. Hello, we'd like to have some humans over. Congratulations, your premium property is now listed on the network. The time had come to unleash something both intriguing and unfortunate on Silver Valley. Evil. <laughs> These dewy, moist, mostly hairless creatures were a controversial topic in the neighborhood. Some thought they were godly beings, forging the world with their magic and machines. Mostly because they left behind food and other stuff that animals like. True. Others would throw a fit of rage, calling them unqualified harbingers of doom. Well, they're not wrong either. A bit dramatic if you ask Hank. All he knew for sure was that this, his mom always said, was what his mom always said, keep your distance. I don't know if we can really yeah, keep our distance if we're gonna be running a, a bed and breakfast here. Congratulations, your premium property is now listed on the network. You can now start earning hardly life-changing income. Simply accept your first guest through your front desk, and give them the experience of a lifetime. All right, what do we got here? We got a shabby wooden bed recipe, simple wardrobe. Hey, okay, don't we already have? Well, I only have 160, so let's get the simple wardrobe. And the wooden foot rest. Stone, I already have the shabby wooden bed recipe. Like, isn't that the one? Or is it a different one? Front desk can be used to manage your resorts. Resort overview panel will show all the active resorts you've discovered, which is only one right now. The fact that you got to run multiple resorts, that's a little, uh, it's a little scary. Each resort will display its available bedrooms, guest requests, and reviews. Bedrooms and bill will be listed with their current vacancy status, status and scores. Every morning, new guests will request to stay at your resorts. You have to accept them and assign them to rooms. Depending on the resort, each guest will demand for their room. Use the accept button to accept the guest request. Ooh, this is not a simple game. Guest management. Assign the guest to a bedroom for their stay. This must be like the comfort rating. Try to match the bedroom scores so the guest demands for better review and views and payouts. You can get more guest requests per day in an area by repairing monuments like the the uh, outhouse. I'm not sure what language that is, Dennis. I apologize. I'm not familiar with it. When you're off on an adventure in another location, your resorts will still run. Okay. Good. Do I want to fix this? 
I'm going to fix it. Well, I'm going to assume the quest is going to get me to fix it at some point. Dinky Shed, Timber Crossing. One bedroom, no active guests, no staff. Details. Prestige level, 2 of 15. Okay. So how do we... Using the front desk, accept your first guest. How do I do that? Guest requests, right here. Marilyn Leonard, accept. Sign in the bedroom one. He wants five comfort, we got five comfort. All right, we got no guest requests. And okay, let's go, go talk to the shark, I believe. Yep. Nothing to lose, nothing, and yeah, yeah, same thing you say every time. Press the green button. I got a human on the way. Congratulations, you are now on your way to financial independence. In actuality, you are much, much closer to financial ruin. Sweet. We have a head start. And that probably means something. In any case, make sure you keep up with guest demands as they tend to become pickier and pickier. Awesome. Sadly, an issue the technology hasn't been able to solve yet. All right. Perfect. All right, so we have no quest right now. I want to build a second bedroom, maybe? Comfort bedroom. No, we don't have any money. We are broke right now. We need our guests to arrive. Where is Martin Leonard? Day three already. It doesn't... I mean, other than this, doesn't tell you exactly what time it is of day, does it? You can zoom in and zoom out in the mini map. That's kind of cool. All right, I feel like I should be doing something while I'm waiting for this dude, right? Like, harvesting planks, for example. Probably a good use of my time. I feel like I should go back and talk to my mom. Is that the shark from Ikea? It might be. I think that might be the, the vibe they're going for, at the very least. Uh, is there any more wood or anything up here? It's closed. 80, that's a, must be kilometers per hour. <laughs> Speed limit. Some more wood, sure. All right, not much to see. Not going through here anytime soon. Fair enough. Oh, where are you? Wait, what is this? All right, I'm just gonna, gonna quickly go back and see if this guest has arrived yet. Oh, wait, so I don't see the guest. Maybe he won't get here till tomorrow? Uh-oh, alert, alert. Looks like your premium property is lacking in the old P department. Hey, I don't. Prestige. Wow. <laughs> that means that the decoration levels of your property aren't up to our low, low standards. It is ugly. Easy, Finn. But it looks just like my room. <laughs> what are you trying to say? In order to attract more lucrative guests, just make your properties more appealing. Simple. We are adding non-essential ornamental furniture and knickknacks. Let's go crazy for knickknacks. What an uncomfortable sentence. <laughs> Raise the property prestige level to a satisfying degree before returning. Okay. Prestige is the sum of all decoration scores across the resort. Your resort's prestige score can be found in the resort overview panel. Increase prestige by increasing the amount of decoration in your cabin. Most objects, objects have a decoration score, either positive or negative. Okay. Problem is I don't have any money right now, right? I had a bus sign I could fix up the bus station. I don't. So I can't. Like when this gas gets here. Okay, this wood wasn't here earlier, was it? Must have respawned. Like when this gas gets here, he'll pay money. You know what? I'm going mm, to... Second bedroom. I need a lot of things. I need money. I need this gas to get here and give me some money. In the meantime, let's see what's going on over here. Mm 
lots of stuff to salvage here. But until we get some money, we can do. I don't know. Can we sell stuff? I wonder. Well, hello there, bud. Are you a good looking one? I haven't seen your, your likes around my buses before. I would argue you're the rarer sight. <laughs> Bear noises. Oh, what a kind looking bud you are. I'm Oliver. I run the buses here if it wasn't evident. Oh, look at me. Of course it's not evident. Bears don't take the bus. Do you do you take the bus? I've been in a broken down tractor before. Does that count? <laughs> so apparently we don't speak English. I don't see why you couldn't either. You know what? Do you think you could do me a solid, bud? Probably. I got this letter I've been dying to send. I can't just leave my buses. Of course not. There's not been any posts since, well, in years. Probably know these places better than I do. Do you think you could find your way to Sawdust? Yeah, I know where Sawdust is. Give this to Beanie for me. Yeah, I can do this. Usually hangs around the fire watch tower. Um, just gonna take that pen, I guess. <laughs> Hope you didn't need that, Oliver. Tasty sandwich. This quest, does that mean it's four quests or does it start a quest? right click on that stuff okay all right let's go what's what's appointing me to up here quest took whoa there big fella where did you come from my mom i live here where did you come from all right enough of the questions <laughs> what are you after that sure sounds like a question Trash, junk, muck. I'm looking for something humans like. Something that would make them feel more distinguished. Plot, scrap, rubble? No, I need some knickknacks. No, I need something exquisite. That's where you're wrong, my colossal companion. I got what you need. Stop drooling. You stumbled upon the most handsome curator of crap this side of the valley. There isn't one thing these animals throw away that I can't flip back at them. Great, let me just have a look in that dumpster. Not so fast, Bozo. How do I know I can trust you? You don't. My, um, authoritative height? Be that as it may, we don't trade with just anyone off the street. My head would be in a gutter before noon. Although, I do spend a lot of time down there. <laughs> but, you gotta be approved before I can sell you anything. I'll tell you what, there's a bus depot across the road. I can smell the stinky tuna from here. Buy me a snack, then we can talk. I think I already have it, right? Yeah. So did you find any grub? I did. Yes, right here. Yeah, right here. Stale bread, crunchy cheese, weak old mustard. Mmm. Yummy. That's all I could find. Mmm. Just like mom used to make. <laughs> Alright, you brutish charmer. I'll let you buy my special selection of swill. And here, I'll even let you have this one for free. Anything else comes at a price. And I don't mean none of that stinking human stuff. Folks, garbage. Yay. I mean, real valuables. Okay, so we... Okay, okay. We can. This is where we exchange our valuables. We got a decorative object. And another decorative flower vase. Oil wall lamp. Small potted prayer plant. Ooh, welcome mat. Definitely want a welcome mat. How much inventory? Oh, we got quite a bit of inventory space. Small oil light. It's all decorative stuff. Drawers, cardboard box, small bear painting. All right, we can obviously, uh, yeah, we can come back later. Took dumpster is your one stop shop for decorative objects. Took accepts valuables as currency. The world is little, littered with them, literally. Literally. Guests also leave behind garbage that so you can collect and use to buy decorative objects from Took. Yes. How come I ain't seen you around here before? Oh, we used to come here all the time, dumpster diving. Oh, really? Didn't take you for a criminal. No, no, it's not like that. My buddy Will always made me go. Oh, yeah, blame it on Will. And it was only magazines and pamphlets. No bad stuff. What about bad magazines? Relax, my delinquent friend. I'm not going to snitch if you ain't. It's 
Besides, I haven't seen a lick of any humans around here for a while. Not since the couple that ran around after the big inferno. The big inferno? Yeah, we used to never be allowed to pass the fence in the thicket. Now we walk around like we own the place. Never let anyone tell you that you don't. Anyways, humans coming back in droves, huh? It's pretty wild if you pull it off. Probably make a few folk pissy in the process. True. Listen, I get plenty of demands. So my business revolves around supply. No humans, no garbage to sell back to them. And especially slim pickings if you don't get any of the rich-looking kind. I'm working on it. They dump the best junk. Tell you what, since you're fixing up the old shed for them, how about you do the same for the kiosk up here? They used to flock around that place like raccoons to a burger wrapper. It's me. I am raccoons. Yes. I know. <laughs> I'm just getting the hang of it. This sounds a lot more complicated. Nah, this is a one and done deal. They just need a couple of things to keep them distracted. The beaver will know all about it. He was here when the place was built. Who knows what new kinds of goods we'll have in the shop. Okay. We gotta talk to Tony. Alright, I'm gonna go... Alright, well, I'm gonna go check. Is my human come yet? Are they gonna arrive in the morning, I think, right? That's how it works. So let's go, let's deliver this letter. Oh, let's pick up this wood. Deliver this letter. And maybe, maybe this isn't the best order to be doing things in, but whatever. Fire Watch Tower, where would that be? See it marked on the map. Pretty sure it's somewhere around here like in this area that it was in sawdust Can we go okay we can't keep going haven't been all the way out here yet i don't think probably some new stuff to pick up got lots of wood i wouldn't mind finding some more like of the metal type scrap would be good I feel like i have a ton of wood already Oh, I just realized it shows wood on the mini-map. I did not realize that. And so where's Firewatch Tower? That's where he told me to go, right? I don't see any towers anywhere. Oh, what's this? Dark Grove. I don't think I'm supposed to go to Dark Grove. Oh, a treasure chest. Get a bear shelf, a level two decorative object. Level three decorative object. Nice. That'll help. I don't know where this tower is though. I don't think there's a map, right? Like other than the mini map. Oh, here it is. Here's the tower. Found it. Iron plates, an old computer. Nice. Oh, went the wrong way. Oh, they're asleep. Well, they're about to get woken up by a bear. <laughs> Sabine, hello. I don't believe we met yet. How did you end up here? With my feetsies. Burbling bear noises. Good. Physical activity is always a great idea. Wait, you can understand me? I've been around these woods for a while. I think I get the gist of what you're saying. Oh yeah? What am I saying right now? Actual literal bear, no bear noises. That was pretty unintelligible. I guess I could use the practice. Now I feel bad. I'm sorry. You should, Hank. You should feel bad. Haha, <laughs> I'm just yoking you. What's a big softy like you doing all the way here? I came to deliver a letter. I'm looking for Beanie. I have something for her. Oh, that's uh, just a nickname. I'm Beanie. Sabine. Makes sense. Or Sabine if you're my mom. I'm not. But I like, um, Beanie. No one calls me that anymore. Who told you that? Oliver, the bus person. He gave me a letter for you. Oh, Ollie. Such a sweetheart. No wonder he trusted you. Let me see it. Can't believe he found it. Ollie, you weasel. Where was it? Did he tell you? It's not a weasel. Though I understand the resemblance. No, no. He found the last page of our atlas. We made this ages ago. He'd barely gotten his driver's license, and I had such a smaller hat. <laughs> it's a fairly big hat. He mapped out the whole valley, figured out where to put stations for his buses and everything. Thought this burned up in the fire. 
I didn't know the fire was that big. Listen, I know I, you came all this way, but could you get this thing back to him? I bet he doesn't even know I have the rest. The compass? Here, you can have this. It'll help you find your way back faster. Things are peaceful and quiet these days. A little too quiet. Anything we can steal? No. <laughs> Trying to take beanie stuff. Uh, some more scrap out here. Just piles of wood all over the place. Ooh, what's going on here? Prospector's gear. Large rock slide. Ooh. What will that lead to? I guess just leads to this area. Okay. Right, the compass. You obtain the compass, which unlocks the area map view. The area map can be accessed through the map button next to the mini map. The area map shows all the important markers and landmarks in the vicinity. Okay. There's still some wood laying around, but I think I'm just going to go back. I might, I might regret this, but I feel like I have enough wood right now. Can I go through this log? I mean, you know, if there's wood directly in my path, I'm going to take it. And I guess, yeah, I'm already making a liar out of myself. I went out of my way to get that wood a little bit. All right, let's head back here. Turn to Oliver. Got to get the bus station fixed up eventually, too. Got to work on our prestige level. Oh, I've got new stay requests. One guest arrived. Where is he? I don't see him. Oh, there he is. I need you to spend some money. Build. No, we don't want to build a room. Just want to place some stuff. Flower vase. Ooh, welcome, Matt. Definitely want the welcome mat. Poster. Bear poster. We put it over the bed? Yes. So you can wake up and see a bear. Happy fish black. There we go. So how high do we got to get our prestige? Level two. Ooh. It's a lot. You need a lot of stuff for that. All right. We'll come back to this later. Go talk to Oliver. Give me your money, please. Where's he going now? He didn't stay in there very long. Because no, I don't have the money. He didn't he didn't pay yet. Oh, is he gonna try to use the bathroom? No, what's he doing? Where's he going? Alright, well I'm not gonna follow him around all day. It's I don't know what he's doing. Hopefully he pays me a lot. Yeah, there we go. What's up, Oliver, my man? Back already, bud. Did you find Beanie? Did you give her the letter? I did. Yeah, she called you a weasel. Yes, I did. Herming bear noises. Oh, you're the man, bud. I'm the bear, Oliver. Get it right. Haha, <laughs> you got it right. Or bear, sorry. So, what did she say? She gave me this for you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Bud. Found the rest of it. That's incredible, bud. Oh, drawing all this out with her was the most fun I ever had. I think that they like each other. Sort of driving a bus, of course. Of course, I mean, naturally. Look, there's sawdust and High Lake, and look, this is where we are. Oh, well, uh, you probably don't even know what I'm on about. This valley is huge. There's places the buses couldn't even reach. Oh, it's wild. Listen, I've been here for a while. Just me and my buses. It just don't feel right for us to sit on our tires like that, you know? No one's really needed me or my buses in a long time. Oh, I'll fix that, Oliver. Oh, he's even crying. Don't don't cry, Oliver. It'll be okay. With all the new folks starting to visit and all, one person, there's one folk. I think you should have this. Look, see where these old bus stops are? If you manage to fix these up like you did with the old storage shed, I'll give you bus rides for free. Free? It's the crack price. I don't think bears have any pockets for money anyway. It's true. Oh. 
So now I can, I can actually fix them. Oh, the first one is right there next to the shed. How about it? I'm on it. I'm on it, Oliver. You obtain the atlas, which unlocks the world map view. The world map can be accessed by clicking on the world map button in the area map panel. Here you can see where Hank is in the world as well as what areas he's discovered. So where do I find this? Oh, right here. Black moss, the thicket, sawdust, timber crossing. Now the world isn't as big as I thought it would be. Okay, so these two are actually next to each other. There's still a few areas though. Definitely a few areas we need to explore. All right, uh, so he's just walking around. He seems to be relatively happy, though, as far as I can tell. All right, let's fix this up. Pretty shoddy looking. We can fast travel here. Nice. Where are you going? Oh, he's taking pictures of me and Oliver. Hey, oh. Did you get that bus stop fixed? Sure did. Ah, approving bear noises. That's great news, bud. Indeed. Oliver seemed like a friendly, easygoing softy, one of the few people that stuck around the valley. Ugh. Hook, on the other hand, was a crooked critter with a taste for stolen baloney. What a team. A strange pair that lived in peculiar harmony. That's great news, bud. I can smell the gasoline burning through my nose hairs already. Listen, anytime you come across one of these stops, just give it a wash. Slap a new sign on it. Oliver's toolbox. Nice. And boom, I'll drive you there anytime. So we can buy, okay, yeah, we can buy the stuff that'll help us fix other things. But again, we're poor. I don't think that guy's paid me yet. No, I still only have 10 bucks. Can I sell things? Ooh, I can. Mahogany is expensive. Did I sell some mahogany? Can I sell part of it? Can I split stack? I can. No room. No, I can't. It looks like I can't sell them. Just because my thing has a value doesn't mean it's sellable. I think I can handle the bus life. Bus life couldn't handle me. Let's be real here. All right, bus station. Broken bus station can be found throughout the world. Pairing a bus station in an area unlocks fast travel to and from that location. St uh, bus posters can be found in Oliver's shop, among other oddities and progression items. Where are you going now, bud? Hello again, my child. I'm not your child. I mean, uh, my favorite apprentice. There you go. Don't worry, he's been calling me that all day. You get used to it. Oh, uh, hello. Look, I have it on very good authority that the kiosk up there is our next best shot at getting more humans to come. Oh, you do, do you? Yep. And what authority is that exactly? The crazy raccoon. Um, well, oh marvelous, the old travel kiosk was a jewel of timber crossing. It was one of the first things humans built here. Oh, so kind of like the pyramids. Yes, exactly like the pyramids. Well, exactly. No, you'll actually find it's more of a rectangular parallelepiped? <laughs> Parallel I don't know. A rectangular what? So I think we should spruce it up like you did with the shed. That'll attract more humans and get us even more money. Right, Will? Right. Still want to know how you came up with that. Oh, it's a brilliant idea. As usual, my son. Student. Student. Yes, that's what I said. Take it back. You don't actually get used to it. <laughs> well, let's get started right away. Go in there and clear the place out of all the rubble. Then we'll get to building. Indeed. All right. Well, I'm just going to... I'm going to fix this up. All right. So we have a request, right? We have three guest requests. He leaves tomorrow. So can't we get somebody to come in tomorrow? and tie yes okay, so we need another bedroom but we need money for that right so let's 
Let's go. Oh, pick up some valuables. These posters look like they're outside. All right, where's the kiosk? Right here. Let's tidy this up. Get some valuables and stuff. Wood out here. Let's get the wood. All right. No, look at this value is just laying on the ground. Should be on top of that took. All right. So looks like oh, some valuables. Valuables. <laughs> So, all clean. Yep, almost sparkling. Wonderful. Now, if I remember everything correctly, there are a few things the humans look for in the kiosk. I can make a couple, but I don't have everything I need to get them just right. There's a few ideas I need to get it all together. I need a bit of human literature. I've got a book back home we could use. Thanks, Will. There's also an old computer sitting under the tower and saw I already got it, Tony. Oh, and some sort of writing apparatus. I think I already got that, too. I think the bus driver might have one in his little bus shack. Yep, I already stole it. Great, treasure hunt that I already got. Or I got some of it. I'll put together everything else in the meantime. I think I gotta go get Will's book. Yeah, I gotta go back to the thicket. And let's... Decorate a little more. Oil wall lamp. Put it there. What if we rotate it? Can we put it here? Good, okay. Even with everything, I don't think we have enough. Bear shelf. We put the pot of plant on the bear shelf. We can. It's everything I have. Oh, we're so close. Let's go buy something from what's his face? Right? Then we'll be at level one. When do you pay? I'm assuming they pay when they leave. Alright, we just need... We'll be good here. Uh, level two would be good. I guess we don't really have any level twos. Cabinet... And a rug. So let's get a couple of rugs. Throw these rugs down. That should get me level two prestige. Walking is hard, apparently. Uh, let's put there. Rug. There. Level two. All right, we're level two prestige. We did it. Some valuables. What's up, Finn? Property prestige is the principal proof of prominent plot. Indeed. Press the green button. Looks a little better now, I think. Congratulations. You've increased your new property's value by a quarter of a percent. Hey, every little bit helps. That is 278% more than our guests receive on their average trip. Okay. <laughs> more prestigious properties will earn better results, so keep up the work. Not good work, just work. <laughs> oh, you got a new quest for me? Coming along nicely. Now that you are earning the equivalent tips of a door-to-door -door salesman, door-to-door -door, door salesman, you are presented with an opportunity. In order to achieve the prestigious Pawn Voyage pedigree, you have to bring the property in this area up to our standards. Complete stay for plus two guests and timber crossing. Okay, well, we'll need... All right, so he's sleeping, so hopefully he pays when he leaves in the morning. Another guest should be signing in. As we... Let's 
still only have 10 bucks. Does it cost zero? No, it costs 60. That's what I thought. Um, yes, the scar changes. We can build that later. All right, so let's go back to the thicket and do this quest. This three-way fetch quest. We already did one of the ways. Let's go back and see how upset my mother is. Shall we? Should we explore Black Moss? Oh, I don't like... Can't get through there, okay. The mini-map's a little clearer as to where you can go. Can I get through here? <laughs> I want that wood and stuff. Looks like they kind of block you from all the good stuff. At this point. Probably need to unlock something to get to the good areas to have the stuff. Yeah. Alright, that's fine. Alright, how upset is my mother right now? I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared to talk to my mom. You have here. What is denim anyway? This is my house, right? She just pushed me out of the way. I see, you're running low on pocket money. Oh, she's just not upset with me, I guess. Oh, my little baby. I knew this day would finally come. Today I would feel useful as a parent again. Thanks, Margaret. Well, I can help you out. You have to promise to be more careful next time, all right? Yes, give me money. Here you go, honey. How much money should you give me? 100 bucks. Hey, it's a start. It's a start. All right, and we got to get... Book in here, isn't it? That looks like a book. There we go. Book on spelling. On phonics, take this fish off the wall. Nope. Um, show walls. There you go. That looks a little makes the posters look a little better when you show walls, right? Yeah. All right. So my mom is not upset that I basically ran away from home and started a bed and breakfast business with a shady corporation. <laughs> But hey, whatever works. She sent us to get alligator moss or whatever, which we didn't do. Instead, we ran away from home to start a, uh, a shady bed and breakfast. <laughs> this is with a shady corporation. Oh, yeah, I can probably fast travel back, right? Wait, how do I fast travel? Oh, I probably got to go from bus stop to bus stop, though, right? There's no bus stops down here. We'll have to hoof it. Not that it's that far. All right. We're back in Timber Crossing. Tony, were you able to find everything? I sure was. Oh, yes. Yes. This is everything I need. Perfect. All right, let's go to the kiosk. Yeah, it won't take long. Fix her up, Tony. Oh, wow. <laughs> he wasn't playing around. Just like new. Can I use any of this stuff? So I assume this will help us get more guests. Talk to talk to inaugurate the kiosk. Is the kiosk ready? It is. Never thought I'd say this. Logeria. Please never say it again. Excuse me? Yeah, it was 38 across in the 1982 crossword semis. I found the dumpster the other day. That's gross. It is. Now you're thinking of the other thing. Found that too. Awesome. Anyway, you did good, kid. 
There'll be more stuff for you to buy at the dumpster now. Nice. Oh, and putting in a good word with the big cheese. Who's the big cheese? All right, Hank, my boy. I've done about all I can for this place. Thanks, Tony. I think you've got a good start here. Though, there's quite a bit of work ahead of you still. Thanks, Tony. I'll be back in my mill if you ever need me. Probably will. Oh, and say hello to your mother for me. I will. Next time I'm broke, I'm gonna go see her again, see if she gives me any more money. I'll tell her to drop by sometime. Looks garbage has no items. Oh, where's he going? Excited. Hank, Hank, where are you? I'm over here doing a quest. What do you want? What do you need, Annie? Hank, where have you been? I've been sniffing all over. Well, I met Tony, and he taught me how to find some lumber, and then we made a bed for humans, and... Where did you find the alligator weed? I didn't. Oh, no, we didn't find any of that. Just pine and plywood. And mahogany. Any minute now. We also had to use some cotton. Hank? Yes? Mom! There it is. I completely forgot. Oh my gosh. We have to go home. I was just home. I think I kind of... I did things out of order there, I think. A little bit. Locking shop contents. Completing quests and progressing through the story unlocks more items for sale in shops. Blueprints and cooking recipes only need to be bought one time. Once they learn, they will disappear from the shop. All right, so guests has completed the stay. We gave me 125 gold. Nice. Did you leave a review? Perfect review. Let's build another bedroom, and then we'll go home. How wide is this? Three, seven. We'll go. Yeah, we'll just do three by three again. And put a cabinet in here. And then we will build a bed. Mine, all right, let's create the room. And let's create a bed. Yeah, shabby pallet bed recipe. Let's go. Simple wardrobe. Level one. Yeah, these are only level one but our items. We don't really need to worry about those too much. Let's get a bed down. There. Now we have two bedrooms. Wait, why does the door look weird? And it works. It's all that matters. We'll decorate that a little later. Um, bedroom 2 is empty. Oh, we got five gas requests. Holy crap. This is, gas expects a higher than average decoration score during their stay. 4, 2, 3, four, uh, 5, 2 for one day. Bedroom 2. Yeah? Sure. Right, so that fills us up. Wish we could have got that build yesterday, but... Alright, so we should get this soon. Alright, so let's go, let's go see my mom again. Even though we were just there. Or wait, do I have enough money? Can I make another bedroom? Maybe make two smaller ones. Oh, I do have the money. I could make a couple more. Great room. And then another bedroom. And let's make... Oh. There's that. A couple of beds. Couple of wardrobes. Well, would the wardrobe even fit in the small room? I wonder. A bed. A 
Can't see the door's kind of in the way. Well, that's huge. The footrest. <laughs> it looks like it fits there, but is it blocking the door? I can put it over there, I guess. Yeah, that'll do. That should allow us to accept more guests too, right? In theory. Got four guest requests. No, Frederick doesn't want much. You can have that one. You can have that one. There we go. Now we're gonna have the guests rolling in tomorrow. I don't know, do you have to put rooms other than bedrooms, I wonder, ever? I'm not sure. Who knows? We'll find out. Probably. You probably need... I mean, it's a bed and breakfast. We're not providing breakfast yet. All we're providing right now is the, is the bed. Right? <laughs> we still didn't find the moss that my mother wants, though. So she might be a little upset here. Hank, kids. Hank, where have you been? My goodness gracious. Oh, just starting a business. Are you all right? Did something happen? I'm okay, Mom. Nothing happened. All right, good. I mean, something happened. <laughs> what was in that thick head of yours? And you. I didn't even say anything. You put him off this again, didn't you? You kind of did. No, Mom. Will didn't do anything. We weren't even gone that long. We were gone for like four days, Hank. It's been days. Humans are coming back. And another thing. They're what? And we're helping. We're bringing them back. I see. Well. I don't suppose anything's wrong with that. We're going to get more to visit. And they'll bring money and trash. And we'll get to learn all about them. And, <laughs> and they get to make stuff for the me. Tony taught me how to build a bed, and I haven't heard from him in ages. I suppose there was nothing I could do to keep you around anyway. Don't say that, Mom. I'm not going anywhere. I just... feels nice to do something out there for a change. Something helpful. I know it does, dear. For now, at least. You're all probably exhausted. You should go rest. Yeah, we gotta go check on our humans. <laughs> we get a trucker cap. Definitely gotta put the trucker cap on. Now get some rest. Anton, who's this? Don't get up for me. I can see just fine from here. What? Let's just say you made the right impressions to the right people, pal. That's not true. I did no such thing. Relax. It's a good thing. Yeah, come on, Hank. Get together. It is? The oversized rat did say the size doesn't scale everywhere. Wait, aren't you an oversized rat? Listen, you made quite an impact on my trash-talking associate. Which is rare. In case you feel like keeping that up, the way to the old road's been cleared. Oh, nice. If you happen to make your way down there, come find me at the dump. Why would I do that? Because I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Trying to do the equations here. Or, I don't know, I guess you could refuse it, but it's a pretty good offer. We'll probably... Accept it. Do what you want. I don't care. New routes unlocked towards the A24. That was weird. Indeed. Okay, so am I supposed to sleep? Or is it morning right now? Oh, it looks like I can't sleep anyway. Wasn't it daytime? Up any of these rocks? No. Where are you going, Mom? Anything here I could take? Do I know any cooking recipes now? No. I do not. I am not a cook as of yet. Any more money from you, Mom? Ooh, what's up here? Augers tools. Ooh. Do I want to clear this one out? This leads to an area exit, though. You're running low on pocket money. Oh, she's gonna. 
She's gonna help hook me up. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> awesome. Mom hooked me up with some money. I mean, I can buy these, these loggers tools, so, I mean, even if this ends up not being a good use, I can buy more from, uh, all of Doesn't appear to be anything up here in the mini map. Oh, wait, what's this? I can use a long nap myself. But what is this up here? Oh, it just takes me to sawdust. Yeah, I mean, it's a shortcut, I guess. I'm not sure that was worth my logger's tool. It'll be fine. Maybe. <laughs> it's just me, your local Wood Samaritan. Wood Samaritan. Ah. That joke is so bad, it's almost good. Alright, so let's gather up some wood. And we'll head back. Nighttime right now. I can only sleep at night. Is it not nighttime right now? I feel like it's nighttime right now. And I'll have a whole bunch of gas coming tomorrow. Should have. I should have a full four, I think, right? Looks like it's just wood, though. Like, the other stuff. Stuff that gave, like, electronics and stuff. None of that appears to respawn. Or maybe it just takes longer to respawn. I don't know. What's over here? This looks like it's closed. Dark Grove is off limits for now. You gotta go south of Timber Crossing. To get to that dude. Alright, so yeah, we'll just we'll make our way. We'll pick up the wood as we go. And then we'll go down and see uh what is it, Anton? We'll see Anton. See what Anton has for me. And then our guests will come in. Now we'll be right with the world. I wish I repair this bus stop too. Maybe. Yeah, I could. Yeah, let's repair this bus stop. Why do they have the materials? Sure. All right, so how does this work? Now fast travel here. We can go over in sawdust. Not that this was this isn't fire. Like this isn't particularly valuable. Um oh, what's going on? Who's this now? Barbara. Oh, who's there? Why? This is quite unexpected. It's me, Hank. Why, you're a big fella, aren't you? You don't seem very frightening. Arr! Am I frightening now? That's alright. You're not the first critter I meet around these parts. Don't be afraid. bear noises. Well, it's quite nice to meet you too, dear. I'm Barbara. I've been the keeper of these woods ever since I could tell a Joppy Jeffrey from a blue shag. Ah, yes. You got your Joppy Jeffreys and you got your blue shags, you know. You know where you are. The blue shag. Oh, of course you don't. You're not from around here. I would have known. I mean, I'm from close to around here. Well, we're in Timber Crossing, one of the largest lumber hubs this side of the valley. Or, well, it used to be. Barely soul sets foot in this place anymore. Oh, I'm fixing that. Although, lately I've noticed quite a few more souls than usual. It's because of me. Almost like something's drawing people back. It's me. Then I couldn't help but see what a wonderful little shed we got. Do you have a hand in that? Built with my own two paws. Never thought I'd see another person visit our little valley, let alone tourists. I have to say, that was quite the accomplishment to do on your own. I mean, I had help from my friends. Hope we'll see more of your handiwork soon. Oh, you will. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, Barbara. Stay away from my wood. My wood. Barbara. Is 
So there's what, one person staying right now? Yep. So these three rooms should get filled tomorrow. It'll be good. And now though, we gotta go down and see Anton. A24. Okay, whatever that is. I guess it's the road. There's something here. What's this? Ooh, stone bricks and porcelain chunks. Those are, seem kind of valuable. Where does this go? Oh, this is the other side of that swamp. Okay, well, mm, kind of want to just gather up all this stuff. Charcoal lily, a rare dark flower that only grows in certain places. It says it's worth 300 bucks. Can we sell them for 300 bucks, I wonder? Whose house is that? Scarlet. Rumor in the coven is that youth potions are no longer acceptable. Something about ethically sourcing the ingredients. I want to use the cauldron. I want to make potions. All right. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is this is not where we're supposed to be right now, anyway. So let's uh, go to where we are supposed to be. No, oh. just gotta walk around. Ah, I'm stuck. Are you on? Are you on Steam, JD? Found it on Steam pretty easily. Or it's supposed to be coming out on Switch. So are you talking about Switch? Or one of the other consoles, I guess? I'm not sure exactly um, what time it's supposed to launch there. Uh, no, I think it's on Switch as well. I'm just not sure when. I don't know if it's even today on Switch, honestly. I did see something about it being on Switch. All I all I can tell you for sure is I am on Steam. But I do know they were planning to go on Switch as well. I don't know, does the eShop, does the Switch eShop only update at certain times a day? I don't remember. Not there either. You either skip town again or is lining in a ditch somewhere. Boy couldn't tell his tail hole from his mouth hole, but he wouldn't bail. Not on us. Uh oh, 10 o'clock, chief. What a surprise. A hefty entrepreneur. I made it. Is there a problem, boss? No, not yet anyway. How'd you find the trip, Hank? I don't think I told you my name. Well, he knows my name. You didn't have to. I knew it before your mother did. Well, that's not creepy at all. I don't think she knew, sir. Mom didn't name me. The air really is thinner up there, ain't it? Sure is. I didn't catch your name. That's because I don't throw it around. It says your name's Anton, though. <laughs> it's on a need-to-know basis. Need-to-know basis. Claire, you're adding a lot to this conversation. Well, I kind of need to know. You won't get fair with that attitude, kid. Anyway, I'm Anton. I run the place. <laughs> so he wasn't going to tell me his name, and then he did. Ha, what place? This place. Everything the stench touches. Mm-mm, dumpy goodness. Listen, you haven't heard all, earned all these questions yet. The collaborator up north says you're up to something good. Bringing people back up in the valley. I'm trying. That's good news for everyone, but we got a problem. One of my crew went missing three nights ago. Claire will fill you in. We lost Wade at approximately 9 p.m. near the Black Moss border. We were out during our scavenge runs. I was negotiating a particularly heavy piece of scrap. Ten seconds later, I turned around and there was no Wade. It's the low hiss of the swamp. That sounds dangerous. You have any idea what happened to him? No, but you will. I'll make you a deal. You need me and my dump to get your little venture up and running. Otherwise, you'll run around for scraps and die of old age before your first customer sets foot in the place. I've already had customers, Anton. Shows you what you know. I'll let you keep any scrap you find in here if you get us weighed back. I suspect me somewhere in Black Moss. That's where I checked first. That's where I just was. Wouldn't be sitting around if I were you. All right. Let's go to Black Moss, then. Let's pick up some valuables. 
quote unquote valuables. Uh, anything else cool here? Some piles. Pick up some of these stone piles before we go to black rock. Black rock, black moss, black moss. The black rock was the ship lost, which I recently rewatched, which is why black rock was right at the tip of my tongue. Yeah, JD, it came out on Steam like it's like three and a half hours ago now. So, I mean, it should be out on Switch, I would think. Ooh, get this couch. There's some valuable materials that we don't see all the time. Oh, yeah. Back to where we were. <laughs> I knew I was here early. I knew it. And we're back. Hello? Oh, not this again. I swear on my tail. What happened this time? Stuck a hand down the drain pipe? What are you talking about? Bad mushrooms? Heard a noise coming from the trees? Oh, no. I was just looking... Because I hate to break it to you. All trees make noise. That's pretty much all they do. Well, they mostly just stand there. You sure as hell ain't doing it for you. Sorry to bother you, ma'am. I'm just looking for a friend. Friend? Here? Happy hour ain't what it used to be. Pretty small, and I think he got lost. I'm worried something happened to him. Small? How small are we talking? I don't know. Small things don't last a lot of time around here. Unless you mean shelf life. Oh, gosh, no. It's a rat. His name is Wade. Oh, crickets. Someone came looking for that thing? You should be paying me rent. Yeah, I know where your Wade is. Fortunately, I'm inside. In inside? Oh, don't go all brave on me. You're too big for my cauldron anyway. <laughs> Indeed I am. Oh, that's Wade right there. Oh, here we go. And then, just before the tire hit, Boss pulled up his cane and smacked it out of the way. Oh, golly. Twiggy, what is Twiggy? And then what happened? He got the piece and scrammed. Wow, what was it like? The thing. Oh, you mean the little old artifact that yours truly sniffed out in less than an hour? I'm way telling stories. Only just about the rustiest cataclysmic comforter you've ever seen. Whoa. It stank too, real bad. It's nothing to brag about, my dude. I think a cockroach lived in it before we found it. Whoa. Wait, what did I say about liaising with the criminal? Criminal? Where? Talking about you. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Besides, we have a guest. Rather unusual one at that. More unusual than Wade? Wade, are you Wade? Hello. I mean, no, I'm not. <laughs> oh, yes, he is. A festering nosy past that can't keep his tail out of other people's business. I was prepping him for pickling, if you need to know. His tiny bones make for great feather holders. Wow. No, you were not. You just said you didn't know how to get rid of him. Shush, child. Who wants to know? I'm on a mission to get you back to the dump. Your boss is worried sick. You talked to Mr. A? Well, more like slightly preoccupied. I can't believe he sent someone after me. He did. Yeah, he told me to bring you back and he let me use the dump. So I can get more humans in the valley. He never lets any outsiders in the dump. You must be something special, mister. I am. I am. Well, let's get not get too hasty, Mr. Special. This rat isn't leaving this place just like that. Why not? But she just said you wanted them gone. Of course I do, but now you want to take them. I don't know about this Charlotte character. There's a value of circumstance. I ran out of charcoal with this. Ha! I already gathered some. You won't find them anywhere else but Black Moss. Or maybe the bird brain in A24 has them for sale. He just gets them here anyway. Dip switch is wholesale. Bring me back a few and I'll see you about jailbreaking your newfound friend. On it. Seven. Okay. Now the question is do I need seven more? Or do I just need seven total? How many do I have already? I have six, so we'll see. We'll see. Will this finish the quest? Yep. Beautiful. I was, I was ahead of myself. I was a step ahead. But it didn't hurt me, so it's good. Got what I asked for? Dozen lilies, like you said. She didn't say a dozen. 
One, um, two, oh, yeah, it looks right. <laughs> Apparently nobody can count. Good, it's better have been worth your time. Because next time you're talk you're taking him back in a jar. <laughs> Poor Wade. Wade, stay out of the swamp, my dude. And paying double. Thanks for helping us out, mister. Miss Charlotte can't bend after the lilies like she used to. Just child. Charlotte, the half-tailed alligator. Struck Hank is someone who's good at trying to be scary. Didn't always stick the landing. I don't know, I found her pretty scary. As evidenced by Twiggy, her tadpole buddy. Twiggy is a tadpole. Who, by their mere tiny presence, debunked any worry that Charlotte would actually try to fit Hank in her big, bolding, boiling cauldron. I don't know. I, I, I think that Charlotte is scary. That's the hope, at least. Trust child. All right, Pip Squeak. Yes, ma'am. Scram. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Easy peasy. All right, let's go, Wade. And then we get access to the Dumperoo. Dumperino. All right. Back to Anton. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do we need any more of these lilies for anything? Yeah, we might as well pick them up. I mean, it's right there. We might as well grab it, right? No harm in it. I mean, I guess it takes up an inventory slot, but I think that's okay. Anton, I saved Wade. I did it. See? Wade's back, and it's because of me. And you are not stepping one foot inside of the stinking dump. Not one foot. Yes, ma'am. For a month, you're grounded, Wade. Yes, ma'am. First rule of garbage... Garb archaeology? Garb archaeology, I guess? Is the cream always rises to the top, so make sure you dig down deep. Claire is obviously the right hand of the operation. Her skill at finding the best stuff is only matched by her loyalty to the old rat. Anton, the boss, seems like a real hard ass. But I guess you gotta be in this line of business. Yeah, I mean, for sure. <laughs> Wade would be closer to the left hand of the sting. Useful in a limited capacity and only under strict supervision. At least according to Anton. No, I think that's about right. What a strange bunch. Can I use your dump now? I would say I've had enough of them. But then I remember the advantages to having an extra pair of paws on hand. Like we're sending out on wild goose chases? Exactly. You're welcome. Don't flatter yourself too much. You did what you were told. I suppose there's another end to this bargain. We always keep our word. Get some dump over there. It's open now. Nice. Okay, let's so oh, there's some valuables in the ground. A lot of valuables on the ground. Five valuables, three valuables. I mean, I guess it is a dump. Ooh, old shopping cart. Copper, iron plates, rubber slabs. I feel like I haven't had many rubber slabs. There's a lot of stuff. Nice. Good stuff here. Oh. Side exit. Got some marble and some stone. Oh, there was something there I didn't even see. It was new. Steel screws. Perfect. So I wonder how often stuff respawns in here. I missed one thing up top. I missed that one. The advantage shopping cart. Oh, I can go back and get it. Yeah, this is a lot of stuff. Oh, something outside here too we can grab. Ooh, synthetic sheets. Plastic boards. A lot of good stuff. There are a lot of stuff. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't really call it good. I have no idea what's what's actually valuable and what's not. To be fair. Oh, I, I can see why I missed that shopping cart. It's kind of tucked in. And this is TV. More rubber slabs. Glass panels. I don't think I have a lot of those so far either. All right. Let's go, let's go back home. 
Oh, might as well grab the stone going our way. And see what comes up next. We should have this done in the morning. We can only sleep at night. Is it not nighttime right now? It certainly seems like nighttime right now. Feels like nighttime. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Maybe I need to be near a bed. Oh, and I guess it's not nighttime because. Okay, so you're in bed. Oh. All right, so we got all kinds of people staying. Nice. This quest should be done soon. So now, so now, what do we do? I don't have a lot of money. Lots of materials. Only sleep at night. All right. I wish it told us what time of day it was. If, to me, I mean, it's dark out. Like, is this not night? Right? Like, I don't know. So, how much is it for these things again? 200 for the bus sign, 100 for the loggers tools. Okay. Um, so what do we do? What do we want to do here to kind of got to kill time since I don't know. It <laughs> feels like night to me. Anyway, I got to stop harping on the day night site. Got any new recipes in the Pond Voyage? Oh, we, we do have a stash. There is storage there if we need it. And yeah, we already have that recipe. I don't know why they sell it. You start with it, I'm pretty sure. Right, so they're all sleepy time. Do I need to be in my room to go to bed, maybe? I mean, it's clearly nighttime. Right? Like, I don't know how you'd argue it's not nighttime. All right, well, let's, let's finish exploring this area. See what else we can salvage up. And in the morning... Think two of those guests should leave. Wait, what does what does plus two guests mean? Does it just mean two guests? Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, this is a lot of stuff. So, do we eventually get to turn this into a property? I wonder. Maybe, or that one maybe. The we need a workbench. Diner sign. Tony's construction service. No available instructions. Okay, so we can't do anything with it yet, at least. We got here. Well, that was like a workbench. Tony's construction service. No available instructions. Fix that up right quick. Okay. Now be used to build rooms and furniture. Buildings available in the area. Okay, and maybe we might need to do something like story wise before we can do that. Let's take some garbage. Well, we might as well clean it out while we're here, right? Pick up all the quote unquote valuables and all the other stuff. Never have too much wood. I don't think, anyway. Oh, there's Barbara. Barbara doing? Standing in the light over there. Alright, well, when the time comes to renovate this stuff, at least we cleared, we cleared it all out. See what Barbara's saying here. What's this? Oh, this is also Tooks garbage. Oh, wow, look at this. A retro jukebox. Costs 150 which is a lot. Some fancy stuff here, though. It's just it's the same as what he has in the other one, I wonder. We'll have to go see. All right, what's Barbara have to say? 
For some people, growing older doesn't come with getting smarter. <laughs> you talking about yourself? Oh, you want what they have. Okay. You don't want to be smarter? What is that? Who is that? Is that a person? Looks like a person. Yes. When you're a kid, you cry because people tell you what to do. When you grow up, you cry because people don't tell you what to do. I just don't do anything anymore. Worked out so far. Just hanging around, eh? Oh, well, let's take it. It says it's for a quest at some point. More valuables. Oh, okay, we can sleep. We can just sleep wherever, apparently. So I guess it was evening, but not night. Metal biker bear. All right, we got to go home here. Oh, I'm turning this quest. We'll be back. I mean, obviously, we're going to be back here. It's clearly intended to be a later game area that we uh, that we fix up. I would say there's a bus stop here. I don't think. No, I don't have a bus sign. Oh well, we should have just got. Oh yeah, we got a big big influx of money because we just had a bunch of guests check out. Which also finish that quest. Let's go. Let's go finish the quest. See what the next quest is. Maybe build some more bedrooms. Accept some new guests. As well. Will be nice. Guests. Guests. Good money. Oh. Might as well pick up the wood. But we still have one person staying. At least. All right, what do you got for me, Finn? Always make sure your property is up to Pond Voyage's uncompromising standards. Standards are as uncompromising as they get. Congratulations, you've met the absolute bare minimum requirements to being a halfway decent service provider. That's right. The world is at your fingertips. Who knows, in a year or 10, you might be on your way to the maximum minimum tax bracket. <laughs> but enough talk about a bleak future. Let's talk about a bright one. Your next venture with Pond Voyage. Remember, whenever you want to add a new premium property to the Pond Network, find your local Pond Shark and just press the green button. Okay. What do we got here? Timber Crossing Card. Placard. Welcome to the Pond Voyage Leadership and Advancement Program. We now further improve this establishment. Successfully doing so will increase guest expectations for this location. And also increasing payout and bragging rights. I like payouts and bragging rights. In order to prove this premise, um, you must now successfully complete the following task. Complete the stay for another plus two guests at Timber Crossing. Award a cool new pair of pants. Would you like to accept this job? Sure. Yes. Task in progress. Please return once the job is complete. So we need some more guests. Yeah, didn't I get a hat? Can I put the hat on? There we go. Got my hat on. All right, management quests. Finn leaves behind construction placards in every area. These pl placards, placards? I don't know how you pronounce that. I have optional building and management quests for each resort. What's he such a rush for? Each will, why are you sleeping in the middle of the day, bud? Each will reward you with extra money or special collectibles. Nice. On completion, new guests will demand better accommodations, but also more for your stay. Motel. Ooh, we don't have it yet. Um, perfect reviews three, recent reviews four. We have four and a half, five, five, five. Okay, so it doesn't say what wasn't perfect, but that's fine. I got five gas requests. What's my comfort level? On most of these rooms. Is there a way to see that? Five. This one's only, that one's seven, five, seven, five. So we got at least five comfort in every room, which is good. So, 
we have eight coming. Well, we it's four or three we can accept for sure. This one's not empty. You there, I guess. Eight five. I think we can put you in. You can't. Uh, well, close. We can't quite eat what they want. Comfort's not quite high enough. That's fine. I think we can up the comfort, though. A little bit, right? By placing more things. Yeah. Uh, Decorative items, no. Let's go. Let's go see. Um, let's go to the dumpster here. Go dumpster diving. Oh, a lot of, a lot of junk on the ground. Let's go to Tuck's dumpster here. What do you got for me, Tuck? It doesn't raise comfort. It raises decorative. How do we raise comfort level? Medium knitted rug. I think any of this stuff. This stuff raises comfort level. Right? Doesn't look like. And maybe I'm wrong. Let's look at these rooms again. Why are some higher in comfort level? That one's seven. This one's only five. Five. This one's seven. All right, so apparently this adds comfort, this footrest. Yeah, plus two comfort. Okay, so we can make that, can't we? So let's make one. And we'll place it here. Make another one. Does this give? Oh, this gives comfort as well. It's probably. Oh, wow, it's huge. Technically fits. <laughs> All right, so let's make one more footrest thing. And place that there. All right, so that's up to seven comfort. That's up to ten. Seven. Seven works for me all right so let's go down because we just got to wait for time to pass there really let's um let's buy another bus stop repair thingamabobby here now that we're doing a little better financially i guess i could make another room too one bus sign now yeah, let's get one logger's tool. I'm sure it'll be valuable to have that logger's tool eventually. That's all I've had to say. I always wanted to be a race car driver. Guess buses will have to do, right? Not many bus Grand Prix out there. Grand Prix out there, I'll tell you. No, I wouldn't think there was, Oliver. <laughs> Fortunately. All right, so let's see if it lets us do anything down here now. It might not. Nope. I might as well pick up anything while I'm here. Not going to turn down free materials. Well, pretty much all materials are free. Does this game have some elements of city building? Um, I wouldn't say that it does, Ruben. It's just kind of building your little bed and breakfast from what I've seen I mean I'm well I guess I'm a couple hours in now I guess it depends on what exactly you define as city building it's kind of like I, I wouldn't call it city building but again I guess it depends on how you define city building mostly just building a room right or a single building now 
you do that multiple times, you, you're going to own more than one building. But it's not really city building. All right, so let's repair this bus stop. Easy peasy. Yeah, it is pretty chill. I'm enjoying it so far. But again, I'm pretty early. A lot more, uh, a lot more story heavy than I expected. Um, all right, so right here, here we go. This is what we need to do. We talk to Finn. Press the green button. Hello again. Be part of the next exciting experience, enticing escape, electrifying enterprise. Yeah, you said that exactly. The arid plains, a desiccated desert, I'm sitting in a parking lot, <laughs> the wild wasteland. Can't believe I'm following a fish shoot around. Yeah. The A24 is the main artery of the valley. The guitars hum the tunes of old country roads. This is the one they sing about. And this brand new premium habitation facility is the first and only stop for the brave explorer on the run. An oasis is in an otherwise barren realm. There's literally a shop across the road. <laughs> Make no mistake, adventurers can't be expected to live off a tent and trail mix. They require the best amenities which is the perfect point of expansion for your now chain of premium properties. Sensing a lot of cleanup work. I already did most of the cleanup work. You should always trust your senses. All right, check the sign next to the motel to start repairing it. Right here. Welcome to the roadside motel. Would you like to repair it? I would. Clear out any debris and garbage inside the structure. I already did that. Yep, we're good. Okay, green question mark or green check mark. Is the structure clear of being debris or garbage? It is. Good job. This is not a step. Just thought I'd let you know you did a good job. Gather construction materials needed to repair the structure. In this case, pine wood planks, iron nails, and stone. I probably should have I probably have those already. Yeah, I do. Beautiful. They have. Get your butt to work. <laughs> All right, ooh, look at that, hotel. Nice. All right, well, that was easy. We kind of did the lag work yesterday, though. How's the construction site going? It's ready. Standing, you're on your way to become the biggest hospitality developer on this side of the canyon. You are currently in position one, because I'm the only one. One out of one. We're number one. We're number one. That's not bad. It is certainly something. As a leisure expert, I'm sure that your senses are now precisely tuned. The next step in this possibly, yet not probably, profitable operation. Oh, it's going to be profitable. Don't you worry. Trick the humans to come over. Trick the humans to come over. Oh, there's one right there. I mean, offer a valued customer a room for lodging. This is not a human, though. This is Gus. Hi. In the middle of the desert, in a rundown metal shack, lived Gus, the most handsome possum in A24. See, also one of one. <laughs> Seems like digging through junk was the main activity around here, and he was no rookie. Wonder why he doesn't work for Anton. Although, by the looks of it, Gus's primary concern remained his charm and driving wheel. Hi. Oh, hello. Mm, I'm Hank. Okay. Who are you? Gus. Nice to meet you, Gus. Yes, it is. <laughs> Very modest as well. What do you do, Gus? Not much. You don't seem to talk a lot either, Gus. He's a great conversationalist. Don't need to. That's fair. Well, just wanted to introduce myself. Not exactly putting your best foot forward there. What do you mean? But I've only got the two. Better start diversifying then. I think you're being a little rude. You're right. You're actually perfect. <laughs> I think that was sarcasm, Hank. With all the people. Actually, I might have a hand in that. Good. They got the best food and baubles. Indeed. And they scare easily. Jerk's dream. Ah, oh, Gus. You don't seem like a jerk to me. Yeah, I think I think he does, Hank. Hey, watch your mouth, buddy. He's very proud of his jerkiness. You don't take kindly to those types of words. Anyway, I used to roam all over the place. Reminded me of chickens. Stinky, floating around, afraid of their own shadow. Only stopping for the occasional turd. I mean, he's not wrong. Living the dream, really. 
Well, you might start seeing more of them again. Oh, you definitely will. Doesn't bother me none, as long as they don't stink up the place. No promises, Gus. Maybe don't burn the joint down again. Again, all the humans were responsible for the great fire. All they left last time was a scorched sandwich and half a toilet. And what's the good of half a toilet? Fire well, almost got my little driving wheel, too. Yeah, well, can't have that. I love my little wheel. The worst part is, the sandwich turned out to be a stinking leather book. Ask me how I know, because you tried to eat it. You're not really playing with the full deck, are you? I'm just very um, naive, Gus, that's all. I don't really like gambling. <laughs> Lad, you've got a nice thick skin on you. Well, I am a bear. Now you're as thick as gravy. Mmm, gravy. I can go for some thick gravy right now. Either way, I respect it. Thanks. I like your skin too, I think. Hey, what did, you say? What did they say about saying stuff like that? No compliments. We don't do that around here. So what's a cheeky boy like you creeping around people for? I'm not creeping. I'm helping. Right, right. So making some extra beans on the side? Darn right I am. Getting a kick out of scaring their little mustaches off? I think they're pretty neat, and I like the building part. And my buddy Will isn't too upset about the money. What are you going to use it for? Buying food? Maybe. How come you live out here in the middle of nowhere? I prefer it that way. Just me, my diddly little self, and I. You get it. You seem pretty cool to hang out with. All right. <laughs> No compliments. All right, enough. One more word like that and I'm done with you. All right, so he apparently gave me... A oh, give Gus the possum a compliment. You done with your nonsense? Sorry I didn't ever saying nice about you. Actually, underneath that grubby exterior, I think you're secretly really nice. I don't know. I don't think he's going to like this, folks. What is your problem exactly? I told you not to say things like that. I'm actually the biggest jerk you've ever met. You're probably the biggest one I've ever met. Oh, I made him upset. That's it? That's the whole quest? Alright. Um, sure, sure, okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's build a bedroom. Ooh, we got... We can do bathroom. We can do a distillery. For now, let's just do a bedroom. Go. Okay, well, how big is this? One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How long is it? It's pretty long. Do like a three by four. Door there. Save the room. Craft up a shabby pallet bed. Simple wardrobe. And a wooden footrest. And a front desk. We're going to need a front desk as well. Throw the front desk at the front. I know. It's a bold, it's a bold move. Our wardrobe. Where'd the bed go? Oh, right there for the bed. And we'll put the footrest over there. And we'll, we'll add some decorations a little later for now. We'll do we'll go with this. Okay. And we should be able to book a guest. Good. There's no requests though. Alright, so we'll have to come back tomorrow, I guess. We could sleep right now. Alright, let's just go check in on our other place before we sleep. Oh, and let's gather up the stone while we're here. Not sure how much stone I'm going to need, but I'm not going to walk by, you know, free building materials. I'm going to take them. And I'd like to welcome anybody who's new to my stream. My name is Luchera. I like to play uh, mostly indie games of the, I don't know, a lot of different genres, you know, from city building to life sim to survival crafting games, deck builders, roguelikes. You know, I'm pretty diverse, but if you're enjoying the stream, do me a favor, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot as a small YouTuber. So yeah, so I guess I got people coming in the morning here, right? There's not, there's just the one person right now, but I got three people booked for the morning. Let's, can we double check that in the morning? Only at one active guest. 
We got no requests. Oh, we're, we need one more point for the next prestige level. So let's just grab one thing here from the dump just to get it up that level, right? And then maybe we'll go to sleep for the night. So we just need one point. I mean, just put a blue rug down. What about a medium? Medium red rug. Even fancier. All right, perfect. I don't like these small bedrooms. I wish I would have made them bigger. Yeah, this wardrobe takes up so much space. I don't love how much space it takes up. That's fine. This is, my, this is the fanciest room for sure. Maybe I should, can I put it, will it fit in here? There we go. That should get us to tier three, right? Yep, oh wow, you need a hundred points. Oh, arrives tomorrow, there we go. So yeah, we got three people coming tomorrow. Oh, we can't sleep. Okay, apparently we just stayed up through the night. It is first thing in the morning now, so let's go. Where's the bus? We should be able to take the bus now, right? Because we fixed the bus stop down there. Fast travel for the win. Nice. This drops is pretty much right where we want to be. Can we do anything with this property yet? Not yet. All right, let's see if we can book a guest now. Still no requests. Oh, wait. It says there's none, but yet there's three. <laughs> Ooh, they want hygiene. All right, so I need to build a bathroom. And, okay, so what, uh, what level is this room at? I guess we got to be at the other screen to check that. 10, 7. All right, so it's that's fine. That's good. Hygiene bathroom, 135. I got the money for this. It's fine. Needs to be at least three by three. Three by four. Yeah, let's do a three by four. Problem is, I don't think I have anything to put in it. Right, like I don't have any sinks, I don't have toilets, I don't have showers. Or do I? No. Let's um make sure. No, then they're not available. Okay. I mean, I guess I just book somebody and they're gonna have to be upset. They're not gonna be happy about it. They all want hygiene. Well, take the person who has the lowest hygiene. But yeah, I don't, I just, I don't have, I don't, I can't make toilets and stuff. I just can't do it. All right, so all we had to do was book a guest, okay. Why be in debt from a bank when you can just borrow from your future? Exactly. I've got a guest on the way. Astounding. They're in for a surprise of a lifetime. Take that as you will. <laughs> what kind of surprise? Good, bad, who knows? Because of our premium desert location, we are freely able to exploit a common resource to their benefit and our profit. Not sure who's exploiting who. That's right, water. Is mutual exploitation a thing? Good question. Probably is. Due to our never ending quest for patron excellence, enforcing health and safety regulations, this location can support sanitary facilities, which are now a key expectation for any visitor of this location. Can you guess what the next step is? Build a bathroom? You should use a lot of words to say very few things. Correct. You must now build bathrooms for your guests. Bathrooms? Yes, okay, so we got bathroom sink, wooden shower, crappy toilet. Most crap, most toilets I end up crappy, I guess. Bathroom introduce a new type of score, hygiene. Bathrooms have an area of effect around that applies that hygiene score to nearby bedrooms. Okay. I wish I would have made it a little more central, but it's fine. 
You can see the area of effect of a bathroom by going into build mode and selecting the room. Higher level bathrooms have a larger area of effect for their hygiene score. Okay, that's cool. Increase the level of bathrooms by placing higher level bathroom objects. Don't really have those yet. Ooh, some fancy looking stuff in that little screenshot there. Different guests have different hygiene requirements to so try to match them when accepting requests. All right, so let's make uh, this stuff. Yeah, that just needs copper plate. We can do that. That needs a lot of stuff, but it's stuff we have. And ooh, not many plastic boards, but we got it. All right, and then so we got a sink. That is a really poor shower. That should get the job done, though. All right, so how do we see its area of effect? I mean, obviously, this bedroom's gonna be fine. Because it's right next to it. I don't know how I see them. Hmm. Not sure how I see the area of effect for the bathroom. Oh, she arrives tomorrow. Oh, and we're one one prestige level away. Of course. Should I make another bedroom? How much money do I have? Comfort bedroom. Oh, I got all kinds of money. Yeah. Right, so this one was one, a three by four. Let's do a three by three this time. Oh, save it. All right. So the wardrobe. Can you fit the wardrobe and a bed in the smaller version of the room? Actually, can we pick this up and put it? that I think that'll work and make a bed and make a foot rest foot rest should fit at the end there all right that's a decent little room so we should be able to book another guest now what was my hygiene score how do i tell my hygiene score nine it's not giving me the area of effect though but i'm I'm assuming it's gonna at least hit these bedrooms right i mean logically didn't need to be this big though we get nine hygiene from that so we can accept people that are nine hygiene like you I want 10 comfort though can i do 10 comfort no that's what we have we have 10 comfort Expects a distillery to be available. Well, I don't do that. I only got seven decorations. So it looks like Margo Hamilton, because Bogdan, we don't have enough decorations and we don't have distillery for you. I mean, I could build a distillery, I guess. That seems like effort and stuff, right? <laughs> More effort than I'm looking to make. All right, so that quest is done for the functional bathroom. It's like mooching off your own future, exactly. There's bathrooms now. Well, there's one bathroom. Amazing. Now that your guest needs for immediate relief are met, we should turn our attention to the most important motivation behind renting a room in this motel. Being comfortable? <laughs> Taking some time off? Repression. That was my third guess. Yeah, I was ready, ready to tip my tongue. Recognizing the insight into customer motivation towards your product is a key detail of modern marketing. You're doing the thing again. Just throwing buzzwords at me. Why would anyone stay in this scum hole? Hey, I put a lot of work into this place. That's right, running away from what you can't escape. Shady pawn shot debt collectors like you, yourself. It's a little dark. It is. This is the perfect opportunity for one of our most popular facilities. A bar. That's worse. Not just any bar, a tasteful, sophisticated establishment. A distillery. All right. Now we can make a distillery. Basic beer tap, wood wood bar stool, sturdy wooden bar. How refined. All right, special rooms. Special rooms provide extra traction for your resort. They offer special amenities and entertainment to your guests. Some guests have demands for spe specific special rooms, but all guests appreciate them in general. 
Best rooms can be a big boost to your resort prestige score. Makes sense. This, this, yeah, the distillery is a type of special room that can only be built in certain areas. Okay, so we can't put one of these in our original place. It's great for those who are looking to unwind alongside some hearty spirits. It requires a bar, seating, and a dispenser to be functional. Some guests specifically look for a distillery for their accommodations. All right, so let's build ourselves a distillery, shall we? Special distillery, ooh, 400 bucks, yeah. So I can make a four by five distillery. It's four by five, right? That takes all my money. I'll be completely broke after this. I hate this layout because there's so much wasted space. Um. So yeah, let's let's change this. Put it in the corner then maybe we can manage to salvage, put something up there that's, you know, make some use of that space. Probably squeeze another bedroom or something in there at least. Door there, I guess. I won't let me create the room. Oh, because there's windows in the way? All right, well, that was weird, kind of. But hey, we figured it out. That's the important thing. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, sturdy wooden bar. Wood bar stool. Basic beer tap. Probably want two wood bar stools, I would say, right? Well, there's space for three stools, so we probably could have made a third. But that's fine. I'll also put the beer tap right next to the bar. Yeah, let's make a third bar stool. Because it makes sense. There we go. That should be it. Participants in the Pond Voyage and Pond Cruise programs agree to waive any claim for participants' personal injury or wrongful death. Good luck with that. The most sophisticated distillery is ready. Excellent. One step closer to solidifying this establishment. It's a premier watering hole in this entire desert. Couldn't have asked for anything better. It's near the consolidation of yet another premium property. We obviously need to make sure our rigorous standards are met. Obviously. New items are available. To that degree, you will need to satisfy a series of criteria. Excuse me. What are those criteria there, Sharky? Complete the stay for plus three guests. Excuse me. Well, I am out of money, so I cannot build a better bed another bedroom, so let's just let them come. Um I gotta travel. Okay, let's travel up to my other place and make sure all the rooms are booked there. I think three of them are full, but I think we have a room that could be booked. Let's go Timber Crossing. Beautiful. We could build another bedroom here too quite easily. If we had the money, <laughs> which we don't. All right, so what are we looking at? Which one's empty? Seven, three. Um, so we can... Yeah, let's just take the one that, you know, won't be upset. Perfect. Views are solid. All right, now. Where are you guys going? Going to the outhouse? Luxurious. Luxuri uh, I just think it's funny that this outhouse is considered luxurious. Um, one extra gas request per day. Okay. I do have a lot of stuff. Do we have space? Like, should I put some of the stuff in that storage bin? Now nah, we're good. We good. All right, so now we're kind of just, we gotta just kind of wait for more money to roll in. Well, let's buy a couple of decorative items for the new place here. Well, I guess there's a dumpster down there. I didn't need to do it up here. 
Let's get a welcome mat. Small rugs. We got all kinds of valuables. Um, a couple of small plants. We can put these on the little things. Little footrest things. Sturdy wooden shelves. We can do some posters, some paintings. Let's get a, get a painting. Get a small bear painting. Get a barrel. That will go good in the bar. Put that in the distillery, right? Is there anything that would go good in the bathroom? Janky bathroom mirror. All right, let's let's go down and let's spice up the new spot. Can we go this way? No, it's locked. All right. Um, just looking for garbage to pick up, kind of as I go here. Yeah, we'll walk. So I'm, we'll, we're not going to fast travel. So is it considered? It's not considered night right now. I just don't understand what the game considers nighttime. Like it's dark out, right? <laughs> The game doesn't count in this night for whatever reason. Pick up some uh, stone as we go. Let's let's get the junkyard too. See if the stuff in there has respawned yet. Oh yeah, a lot of it has at least. These are these, these are materials that are hard to find. Relative, right? Like wood's not hard to find. I guess this stuff's not hard to find either, as long as I come here. It's actually a lot of it, a lot more than I expected. So I guess this stuff respawns like every day. Yeah, I would say I hate I don't mean this as a complaint, but I feel like I feel like resources are almost too plentiful. Like I don't feel like I ever need to go harvest anything. Although I guess I I kind of go out of my way to harvest. What do we got here? Prospector's gear. Well, we don't have any prospector's gear as of yet. So let's, uh... How hard is it to see at night, for that matter? Like, how dark is it? Ooh, who is this? What is this? Where are we? <laughs> Dark Lily Wood. Yeah, I think I'm good. Oh, this is Ipswich's place. Seemed like you barely know how to put one foot in front of the other. No, you just go like this. Pretty easy, actually. I'm not surprised. Excuse me? Tell me, child, do you reckon with the wild? Oh, I reckon with the wild. You flirt with the bizarre. Back in the uncharted. I've been known to occasionally look away in the distance. Such, such a rebel, Hank. No, I didn't think so. You don't look the part. You've never set foot in a shadow darker than your mother's. You think these lands are young? You are greener than the crudest sapling. There's nothing to fear but those who fear nothing. What the hell are you talking about? I agree, Hank. <laughs> uh, fine. I guess I'm lucky to stumble upon something with pockets. Did you just call me a something? Did. It did. She did. It. He. I don't know. Hope for your sake that you're not empty. That they're not empty. Actually, at the moment, they're pretty empty. Hey, you wouldn't have to know anything about all the humans showing up out of nowhere, would you? I would. I um, might have had a hand in that. Well, there's no stopping them now, is there? Once you start coming back, they'll keep coming. I won't complain. Business has been slow since that dreadful blaze. The Great Fire. I didn't know the fire reached all the way out here. Oh, the fire wasn't even close to the worst of it, lad. The shouting, the anger, the pain. As if the gods were waging war over us. Dramatic. Wow. Maybe they were. Now you're getting it. Anyway, you might be taking care of the motel. There's a clear lack of st stuff to bite on around here. Something that old diner was a sweet spot for. Yeah, let's get that diner going. If you can get it back up to speed, I'm pretty sure you'll get more people to come over. Restore the diner. Alright, well how do I restore the diner? Looks refreshing. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> the diner is right here. Right, well, before we do the diner, okay, it is now officially nighttime. I could sleep if I wanted. Let's do a little decorating here first. Matt? 
hidden behind the door, but it's there. Put a nice little keg in the distillery. Janky bathroom mirror above the sink. Oh, no, oh, didn't mean to pick up the sink. Put a small bear painting over the bed here. Abstract painting over the bed here. A couple potted plants. Oh, can I not put them on this thing? Apparently not. Uh, so let's just put them on the floor, I guess. <laughs> I thought I could place them on this. I could have swore I placed them on it in that other, in my other place. Didn't I? Maybe not. I don't know. There we go. Just trying to work the score up, right? What is our prestige score there now? All right, so people are coming in the morning. 41 of 100, but we're level 3. That's I just wanted to get to level 3. So they want, ooh, they want a lot. You know, those are the, my bedrooms, right? So we got, we got it. We got what they want. Are you sure? Um, all right, so now that those, that's done. So let's just sleep the night here. All right. One guess. Okay, so one guess completed. 150 bucks. So I can make another bedroom here, probably. Um, yeah, let's do that before we do the diner. Not sure. If I put it right here, I don't know if the bathroom's going to reach. Is that going to block that, though? And a tile. No, I want to add a tile. Hmm. How do I add a tile? Uh, I wish you could spin your view. It's like, I want to put a tile right there. All right, well, I guess I'm going to have to move that. <laughs> Temporarily. Okay, well, I mean, it worked, I guess. All right, so how do I... How do I put the door in now? A door. Door fit there. I don't really want the door there though. So let's add. Not, not, no, don't add a door. No, add tile. I want to add to another tile. You're going to have to move for a minute. Okay, I don't love this UI here. I wish you could, I wish you could spin the view so that this was a little easier. There we go. So I just want to have the hallway, right? Um, wait, is this a bedroom or a bathroom? Okay, bedroom. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we pretty much broke after that, but that's fine. Bed, wardrobe, the rest. Okay, let's get that all in place. Bed here, sure. Wardrobe can go here, and the footrest can go in the bed. All right. Now the question is: Is that bedroom okay? It does get it does get um, hygiene. I wasn't sure if it would, but it does. Perfect. Um. Who do I want? And eh, let's get a one day or one day would be good. Get that quest done quicker, right? If we have somebody who's only there for one day. All right. Uh, the diner I will do, but I want to go up to my other resort first. In Timber Crossing, we will make sure we're fully booked here because I don't think we are at the moment. Pick up some valuables. 
some point we got to make it. We should probably make another room here too. Yeah, we got an empty bedroom. It's got eleven and ten. Um, well, let's go with the most picky, the pickiest person in theory. This person will um give a, a pay more, maybe. I don't know. Our, our reviews are good. Five, five, four and a half, five, five, five. The four and a half doesn't really say a comfort bonus. Okay, so our decorations weren't high enough when Kevin Hardy was here. That's fine. That's okay, though. That's not the end of the world. All right. That's taken care of. This wood respawns like every two minutes, it seems. So let's go. Go back down. Oh, this one's done. Is this quest up here or is it in the other area? What's here? Okay. It's a job complete. Yes. Congratulations. You have once again proven yourself barely above minimum expectations. Hey, as long as I'm above the expectations, it's all that matters. Oh no. Uh oh. Guess we'll now have higher expectations for this location. Olive pants. Well, it'd be good to have pants. I don't have any pants on right now. There we go. Now we're rocking pants. Now we're talking. Further improvements available. We must now successfully complete the following task. Raise the prestige to level 3 in Timber Crossing. 150 coins. Hey, I'll take 150 coins. Task in progress. All right. Oh, wait. Is it done? Apparently, I already had that level. That was level 3. Did it give me the money? It did give me the money. What else do you want? Get plus three, five star reviews and Timber Crossing. I already have this as well. I think there's a want three new ones. Okay, so I need three more. But we'll get that. I mean, almost everybody that's, that stayed has given a five star review. All right, so let's go down. Uh, back down to the desert. We'll, we'll hoof it. Well, not hoof it, we'll paw it, I guess. <laughs> See if there's anything to harvest on our way. It doesn't really look like, oh, there's a, there's some stone over here. One stone pile. All right, let's get the diner going here. Hotel Mo Problems, indeed. Oh, just went right by some stone, didn't I? Couple stone piles here. Which, I mean, I don't know, like, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like resources are too plentiful. And maybe I should just stop picking them up so often, I guess. Tony's Construction Service. Welcome to the A24 Diner. Would you like to repair it? I would. Clear out any debris and garbage inside. Done. There is. Gathering construction materials. I probably already have it. Ooh, maybe not. Like porcelain chunks and glass panels are both fairly and fairly rare. No, never mind. I have it. <laughs> never mind. Get your butt to work. Oh wow! Look at that. Ooh, fancy seats. Ten, fourteen, eighteen people. Twenty-one people. With the with the bar stools, nice. Oh, so where do we turn in that quest? Oh, that's Ipswich, I think, right? I think, yeah. Perfect. It's done. Going, going, gone. I mean, done. You should know, child, that there's nothing more treacherous on the screen earth than humans. Those bald gremlins. <laughs> they know nothing of this world, yet they consume it. Eh, he's not wrong. The dark spirit will be angry with their return. <laughs> you really freak me out when you do that. I suppose they do bring their own fortunes. Which, of course, they don't share willingly. We have to pray or become prey. Oh, we'll pray. Or scavenge like rats. <laughs> I don't suppose you've had any uh, bad dreams lately. Oh, yeah, no, I did. This whole thing started with a bad dream. No, none. I sleep like a baby. Yeah, 
Very good poker face there, Hank. Yeah, big, honest baby. Don't worry. She only bites when she's told. No one to tell her yes. Tell who? What? <laughs> what are you on about, Ipswich? Oh, we don't need wood. Can we repair this stuff? Yeah, why not? Let's repair the gas station. Get some more guests. Yeah. Whatchamacallit? Is there anything on the other side of the road? No. I guess we haven't I haven't really explored the the uh, the boundaries here. Pretty big road. Not much to see on it though. There's a bunch of stuff right there though. I should probably go get. But again, really I don't need materials right now, but what else am I gonna do, right? Nothing but pavement from here. Through Ooh, chair. That might have some rare materials. Yeah. Like I don't I feel like I don't get cloth that often, right? So that's good. Stone, stone. And everybody's quiet today. What's up everybody? How's everybody doing today? What are we thinking of bear and breakfast? It's a little different than I expected. I mean I'm having fun, but it is definitely different. Yeah, we don't have any prospectors here. Yeah, we, we've been here before. There's the dump. Yeah, we're stuck. Hey, Santo. You're doing awesome? Or you think the game's awesome? Or both? Either way, I'm glad. <laughs> Not much in the dump. I guess I was just here yesterday, though, right? We have a shopping cart and a TV. And there's one other thing down here. Old computer, it looks like. Yeah, electronics and a plastic board. That's good, because those are relatively on the rare end of things, I would say. What about this part of the dump? Are we allowed in here? Looks like it. All the uh, quote-unquote valuables. <laughs> so we should be able to buy, buy a bunch of decorative stuff. Now, if we needed it. But at this point, we're just kind of waiting. Waiting for our guests to stay. And give us their, their hard-earned money. <laughs> yeah, this diner went up quick. Is there... Is there a dumpster here? Or do I need to go back to the other area? I want to say there is a dumpster here. Isn't there? Or am I imagining things? Maybe there's not. Ooh, this is big. Metal biker bear. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's fun. Incredible sample of modern art. Nice. Of course, we're getting all these requests. And I don't have... I only have three rooms here. I need to build some more. Ah, yes, there is a dumpster. I thought there was. Oops. I... I don't know. I can't. I can't see harvestables and not harvest them. Ooh, treasure chest over here. Got a possum clock. Level two decorative object. Nice. Put that on the wall in one of our bedrooms, or maybe in our distillery. Yeah, I think I'm good on stone for a while. Oh, that buy porcelain chunks. No wonder we had enough porcelain chunks. Okay, this literally just respawned. We just harvested this, didn't we? All right, let's check the dumpster here. Medium red rug, small potted plant. Oh, there's a possum clock. Book cabinets. A sturdy wood shelf. Let's get a couple of these sturdy wood shelves. Put one in each bedroom. Because then you, I'm pretty sure you can put stuff on the shelf, right? Like you can put the, the, like the plants and stuff on the shelves. Book cabinet. I wonder, can you put anything on the book cabinet? Rustic, round rustic coffee table. That seems like it would be good in the distillery. Let's spice up the distillery and everything else a little bit here.
in there. All right, so. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, it's not letting me place these shelves. Let me put two things on the shelf. One, two. Yeah, this room's tall or small. I don't know we can fit it right there. Get a lamp. And what about the book cabinet? Well, yeah, you can put something on the book cabinet too. But I am out of things to place. Oh no, we got the possum clock. That possum clock is creepy looking. Is there a sort button? Organize, there we go. Sturdy wooden shelf. All right, we'll just hold on to that. We'll put that in in our other place. Oh, there's garbage in there. Let's clean up the garbage. Can't have that. If you can't get through there, you gotta go around, okay. But we got all kinds of valuables. No available instructions. No, we are good there. So are all three rooms occupied? This, I think somebody's coming for this room tomorrow, right? I'm pretty sure. Right, I feel like I might as well just go to sleep for tonight, right? At this point. I love how you can just pass out wherever. Aw, oh, and then you drool everywhere. And you wake up and you're fine. <laughs> Two guests arrived. Three gu oh, three guests have completed their stay. All right, so we got to make sure both resorts have maximum occupancy. Okay, this one is a maximum occupancy already. Okay, hey, enjoy the distillery. She is. She's definitely enjoying it. All right, so let's go up to the other one. Because it is definitely not a maximum occupancy. So let's change that. And once these three people leave, we'll be good for this quest. We should be good for this quest, at least. I believe. So how are reviews here? We needed three five-star reviews. Okay, we got two more. I think we had five before. So we had another one that wasn't perfect. Comfort wasn't high enough. But hey. Oh, they stay for two days. But still, that's a fair chunk of money. Actually, I have a fair chunk of money now, too. Wait, right, 714. So, okay, so these rooms are kind of crappy. I need to I need to make these rooms, these two small rooms. Oh, plus there's garbage in this one. Sorry, there's valuables. That I can't reach because it's too small. I feel like I might. Oh no, I got. I managed to let me pick those up. Eh, it won't let me get those ones. So there's garbage. Awesome. Am I, can I renovate these rooms and turn it into one big room and add another room down here instead? I don't, I don't like these tiny rooms. I feel they're a little too constricted. Right? Like a, a good 3x3 three three is a much better size, right? Um, what's the problem? We gotta move this window. Okay. Dunsky. Bed. Wardrobe. Footrest. Let's get this stuff in. Get the bed. And we got the footrest. And let's use the shelf. Have to go buy a couple things to put on the shelf, but that'll get a nice comfort score there. And then, how do I get rid of rooms? Hmm. Well, there's floor up. You can go multiple. There's multiple floors. Throw away, can I throw away a room? I 
don't see a way to get to destroy a room. Maybe I'm just missing it. Well, it sucks because although I, mm, I should be able to put a couple shelves in there actually, or shelves in those rooms. Oh, then I just realized there's garbage there too. Garbage everywhere. People just throw their garbage all over the place. No regard. No regard. Right, so what do we want? Oh. There we go. We weren't actually trying to talk to Tuck. Alright, so let's grab a couple wooden shelves. And then we'll go pot a plant. Different plant, different plant. I mean I have three shelves to fill, right? So let's so I need six things. Um Grab a rug for the new room and a painting for the new room. There we go. Now, hopefully, we can get people in here that'll that'll like it because we do need perfect reviews right now, right, for the, for our quest. So it'd be good to have that. I feel like it could also this desk could probably move. No, we want the door there. Let's just move the door temporarily. There. Because that way I can get an extra room in here, right? In theory. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Shelf there. Shelf there. Plant. Lamp. Plant. And then down here. Fill this shelf. I have some plants, uh, and we got a rug for down here, and a poster somewhere, maybe. Yeah, there we go. All right, so that should bump up all those rooms' comforts, or not comforts, decor decorations, whatever it's called. Seven, fourteen, seven, 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 six, ten, twelve. Okay, so seven, six is our worst. So you can go in the seven six room. Oh wow, these people want high decoration scores. Five ten. Okay, we can accommodate you. Or fifteen, we can almost accommodate you. Close enough. Twenty three decoration. <laughs> we don't have that. Yeah, I really need to find a way to. Need to turn these two small rooms into one big room. So that I can actually get some decorate enough decorations in there. And I can't get that garbage. You can see it right there. There's garbage, but I can't get to it. I did not mean to go into this room. <laughs> but I can't I don't know, I don't see a way to destroy a room. Uh build a room. There's no destroy room button anywhere. Built their stuff. We can remove a tile, but that doesn't seem to really work. Selection overlaps other room, it says. We can add a door. We can add a window. I don't see how to de destroy a room, though. Well, I guess I could, if I move this desk again, I could probably extend them out this way one more, maybe. I don't know. Finding guests that are willing, that are for those rooms is going to be tricky at their current scores, right? Is the problem. Is what I'm struggling with. But, oh well. All right, well, actually, you know what? I think right here is a good spot to stop the stream. I will be streaming this again tomorrow. There is tutorials. There's been quite a few tutorials that have popped up over time. And they, they've been generally were helpful, Santo. But uh, for this particular thing, maybe here we can get rid of a bedroom. Details. Yeah, everybody, if uh, if you enjoyed the stream, uh, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll, I'll be back tomorrow.
12 Eastern, which uh, I believe is 4 p.m. UTC in Europe. Um, I'm going to stream some more of this game. Um, yeah. See if we can, let me know in the comments if you're watching, you know, not live, if you know how to delete a room, <laughs> and let me know. Because uh, I'd, I'd like, I, I have regrets about those rooms and how I built them. Um, and I'd like to do something about it, but I can't. Um, join my Discord, follow me on Twitter, support me on Patreon, links in the description down below to all those. But most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day. Was oh, there a way to save? Is it auto save? Yes. Okay. Have a great day. Be good to each other. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thanks for